Yeah, howdy. Howdy, chat. What's, uh, what's going on? Hey. Say it back. What the fuck are you doing? Say it back. Don't you, can't you hear I'm dying? Can't you hear in my throat that it's over? How could you not say it back? Day five of being, day five of being in the COVID house. Uh, almost everyone that could have it may have it and is almost done being contagious. I feel like um, I'm f I haven't lost my taste at all, but I've got this like it's like a fucking thing died down there. You know what I mean? Like there's something in my like I, I can talk and I can work and I don't have any problem with that. But I got like a, it's like I it's like I got like a throat cold and I'm just like. <laughs> Which is just like what happened in the last year. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe I just have some crust. We may not ever know. You should have made a lung build. Wouldn't that just make... Wouldn't that just be more stuff for the virus to fucking hang out in if you just did lung build? If you just got a bunch of lungs? I think that would make it worse. Dude, I'm just like... Sorry, I went quiet because I was reading someone's chat history and I was fucking cringing. I'll never say who. You'll all have to fucking just look around. You'll all have to just look around. Some of you need to fucking think before you speak. <laughs> some of you need to fucking have some self-respect. You need to, you need to, you need to have some fucking self-respect, you disgust me. Oh my god. You make me sick. Needless to say, today may not be a, a long stream. Uh, I am trying to, uh, make sure I don't overdo it during these, uh, trying times. So, uh, probably gonna take it a little easy. Um, uh, during during the next couple days while I make sure that I am not contributing to my own, uh, you know, worsening condition. So we'll see. I'll probably do like everything in episode three of this game. Maybe tinker around a bit with the other episodes. And then I'm going to do, likely before the end of the stream, uh, the second episode of Fears to Fathom, which is that like Home Alone game that I played a while back that I thought was fucking funny and cursed and stupid. Uh, the second episode came out, it's like one about like a road trip. So I was like, I'll do that as like the thing. That'll be fun. Didn't you already play this cursed game a long time ago? Yeah, I mean, games don't get, that's one thing we all know about the year 2022 and 2021 is um, people don't update games. Everyone releases their games and they never work on them again because they're finished by the mo exact moment they come out. No one does that. No one updates them or adds new content to them or changes anything about them. That doesn't happen in 2022, the year of our Lord Jesus Christ. Games are stagnant. I don't even know what the fuck is happening anymore. You know, the best thing about playing Lakeview Cabin, though, is I get to turn on emote-only mode. I get to take a fucking break. I don't have to see Jesus be ballin'. I don't have to see Jesus be ballin' for, like, a fucking a three or four hours. Last spam! Last spam! I got one more chance to do Run Sad Cat. <laughs> Quick, get the ballin' in. Quick. 
First message in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. First message in the chat from elusive man. They said lasagna. Let's give it up for uh, first message in the chat, lasagna. Thank you. They misspelled it, which is why I pronounced it weird. <laughs> they didn't actually, they didn't get it right. They didn't get it right, that's the problem. Erstupped. Dude, Erstupped. Sorry. Lasagna, my nuts, pal. Run, sad cat? Mots, can you fucking stop that person? Do we have to? Yes! Yes! Matter of fact, you do! I, I This might be one of the best chat messages I've seen in a while, because it's so true. I'm laughing because everyone else is Omega LOL. That's like, honestly, I think that's like most of fucking Twitch at this point, is like, you don't need to get it. You laugh because you see a bunch of identical emotes telling you you probably should or you're wrong. I just want to fit in. If I'm not having a good time, then people might know. Real, by the way. Thank you. I do need I do need to remind people that there's been a fall off in the amount of arrows and then real or fakes in the chat. And I, again, I don't understand most of what's happening without that. Real fake. Unconfirmed. Real, by the way, sincere Omega Lol, real arrow. Dude, it does piss me off that in emote only mode when I'm forced to go in it because I genuinely cannot trust any of you fucking genuine, like complete degenerates in, uh, Lakeview Cabin chat, I just can't trust you as far as I can throw you to not just immediately ruin it. Uh, Poro Sad will still be able to be posted. This kind of pisses me off. Run, sad cat, arrow, run, sad cat. No emote mode. Can we ban Poro Sad? Hmm, maybe I make like a poll. I think people are getting sick of Poro Sad. I'm getting a lot of emails from the businesses, from all the businesses I, I, I use. And, and associate with in my day-to-day -day for this job, and they keep saying they fucking hate Poros, and they say all the time they cannot stand the thing. They don't understand why. They don't, they say that bringing sad, like that kind of sadness energy into any kind of show is bad for business. Like if I'm trying to sell you like a product, that I, that I didn't disclose I was sponsored to sell, like say like Coke has been paying me for years to talk about Coke. I'm only one away, but I never admitted that I was one away. It does bring down my ability to sell you that product if Poro Sad is in the adjacent, like in your peripheral, just sad about something. Like it brings like a bad energy to marketing anything really. That just makes him sadder. <laughs> you know, that's a good point, chat member. Where's Poro mad? Who the hell's Poro mad? So Poro glad. <laughs> nah, I don't like that. <laughs> Poro be balling. All right, you're not even fucking trying, some of you fucking people. Uh, 
Oh my god. I like got eight hours of fucking sleep chat, but I woke up like eight eight times. It's pretty fucking. It's kind of bullshit. So now I feel like a zombie today, even though I didn't do anything wrong. I did everything by the books. I did everything by the books last night. Take a nap. What the fuck kind of message is that? I fu dude, well, I'll say it, I'll say it one more time so people in the back can hear, okay? I'll say it one more time so the people in the back can hear. Naps are for weak people that aren't strong enough to stay up no matter what, even if it's even if they have to suffer to do it. Naps are for the weak. When I see someone say I'm going to take a nap, I quietly mutter under my breath, pathetic. Pathetic sad. Kinda sad. What if you get murdered? <laughs> What if, what if that, you need to mad, you need to maximize your conscious time, okay, in a day to day, cause what if you get murdered? I can't take multiple naps. What if I get fucking murdered? Ever heard of sleeping with an eye open? I ever get around anyone that sleeps with an eye open, you bet your ass I'm staying away from them from that day forward. There's no way you could sleep with your eye open around me because if I saw someone like laying down staring at me with their eyes open, I would immediately go, hey, what the fuck's up, man? Like they'd never be able to sleep like that because I'd keep waking them up thinking that they're awake. Why are you looking at me like that? With your one dry eye. Just don't sleep, man. Dude, look, I love sleep as much as the next guy. I, I need it. I need sleep. But napping is fucking sad, and I've never done it. I haven't done it since my goddamn parents made me nap when I was like four. And I said never again, mother and father. <laughs> You'll never stop me again. Naps are great, though. How do you people live like this? If I take a nap, I'm just tired for even longer. You don't, like... You're not, like, more... You, you waste time, and then your body is just angrier that you woke up again. Like, that's horrible. The art of the 20-minute nap. You might as well not bother at that point. If, you, if it's a 20-minute nap, you might as well not even bother. I slowly blink with both of my eyes individually because my body's falling asleep while I yell at all of you. You might as well not even bother. I need more coffee, but I can't get up to get coffee because my entire fucking house is a goddamn exclusion zone. My nice coffee machine is getting sneezed on by freaks. I've had to live off of five hour energy for the last four days. It's making me go crazy. I'm fucking losing it. Grape flavor? God, when it's grape flavor, you just want to die. It's one of those like variety packs where it could be any flavor. Dude, I gotta remember to order food today, really bad. Cause I think I've been under eating the last like week and a half. I've lost like 10 pounds. My body weight is in a constant fu like fluctuation in every direction and it always does that. It's doing it for fucking like four years. I need to like get food in me or I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> and I'm not even hungry. It's just like, sometimes I just, I get on the scale and it says I'm 162 and I'm like, that's, I'm 6'2 I'm or 1. I can't be down there. That's like, 
That's like pushing it. And then I remember that like, 10 pounds you'll never get back. You guys were all like, when I turned 25, you were like, dude, your metabolism's fucking done. You're fucked. Get ready, fat ass. It's coming. It's coming. It's over. You're done. And then I've just, it's just always been the same. He's dematerializing. I blame stress. I blame any weight loss I ever lose on stress. Because I'm always stressed. <laughs> it's either stress or I'm dying. But, uh... You know, stress is also probably fucking killing me at this point, dude. I'm always stressed. I'm always freaking out about something nowadays. I just can't not be. It's a never-ending cycle. Where so much your weight dissipates. Yeah, I mean, it's like... It's like actually a legit thing where like if I'm really stressed out, and I usually am, I'm usually almost always stressed. I can go over to my scale and I'll check it and it'll be like 10 pounds lower than it's supposed to be. Then I'll have like an appointment at the doctor and I'll go there and they'll, they'll weigh me and I'll be back to normal completely and I'll be like, well, why don't, what the fuck even, like, why does any of it matter? I've got like a safety net of like 20 pounds in every direction. I'm like a freak. I'm like an actual freak. I'll start worrying about my weight when I'm down to like 155, dude. When I'm at like the 150s, I'll be like, all right, <laughs> time, to, time to let someone know something's awry. Sounds like you got a bad scale. I don't think so. The scale's pretty good. Weight does fluctuate throughout the day, though. 10 is a lot. Yeah, I mean, water. I drink, like, drinking a lot of water. All that crap. It does, you can fluctuate, like, five, seven pounds over the course of a day. Depending on how much you're eating. You know, the rest. Have you tried meal prepping? Uh, no, I also forget to take my clothes off before I weigh myself, and then sometimes I weigh myself with my clothes on. So, it's kind of all over the place. I don't know how much- I have no- I, I have no fucking frame of reference to what I should be at any point. I just know that sometimes with my clothes on, I'm around like 170, and then other times, with my clothes off, I'm like around 160-something. I don't wear full plate mail, so like, I don't think my clothes weigh more than like a pound or two. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not walking around with heavy armor on much. Why not? Well, if I had the option, I would. No one would ever fuck with me in full plate. I'm just, you know, I'm wearing my fucking training weights. I'm like, I'm like Goku. You know, I wear my training weights. And then when people like, Tell me to like get on a scale, I take the weight off and I drop it on the ground. It shatters the fucking tiling on the floor and they yell, what the fuck is your problem? Get out. And I say, whatever, man. I walk out of the room. That happens so much. <laughs> yeah, my AC's 18, dude. <laughs> If you're Goku, then who is your Vegeta? Let me make something clear. I am absolutely the Vegeta. I don't know how else to put this. I, I am 100% not the Goku. Turn on the cam. I'm never fucking doing that in a million years. Not for you. Raditz at best. Oof. I 
I like seeing my mods time the person out for one second long after their message has scrolled by completely for me and I've already visually like responded to it and it's like a nothing punishment at that point. They're just like, they're pre-slapping the guy because I, they knew I would have just yelled ban him. Add it to the permanent record. To be honest, Tomato, you're more Frieza energy. Nuh-uh. I'm more Raccoon energy, honestly. I don't know how to tell you this. Rakumer. <laughs> you wish you were Rakum. You guys like every single D He was strong. Why are you guys like fucking acting like he wasn't? He only lost because of bullshit. Matter of fact, King You Force got done so fucking dirty out there. I don't know how to tell you this, but it was freaking BS. Who watches Dragon Ball Omega Lol? Are we finally reaching that threshold where Zoom, like idiot Zoomers are coming in and saying shit like that because Dragon Ball is officially, like Dragon Ball Z is officially too old for kids, like younger people to get anymore? Because like, I feel like they're like the vast majority of people growing up in like my age bracket at one point in their life ha has had complete exposure to almost everything about Dragon Ball Z without even having to need to like watch it like an episode. I feel like they just know everything about it. You, you've seen something of it, okay, at one point. You, you, you can't not watch it at at least one point in your life. It's impossible to avoid. Okay. Which means you've added yourself as a child under the age of 18. Mods! Mods! Get them! Everyone. Everyone over the age of 18 has watched Dragon Ball. It's not physically possible to not have. Goku isn't in Fortnite, so who cares, Omega Lol? This is the kind of shit that it's the exact goddamn reason I'm turning on emote only mode. It might do it forever. Alright? Stupid crap like that. Isn't Goku in Fortnite though? I don't fucking know. Anyone that outs themselves as having played Fortnite is under the age of 18. <laughs> Therefore, mods! Mods arise! Just turn on the emote only mode. No. I don't think I will. Yes. I love that it shows permanently banned, but doesn't show the undo. Every time, dude, it's fucked up. Dude, you gotta believe me, that person got unbanned, probably. I'm not sure, I can't prove it. Permanent record, permanent record. Dude, I need more fucking coffee. I need coffee. My doing the math, okay. I've got like one more day where I can't really go upstairs until no one is technically contagious anymore. I gotta last until tomorrow and then I'm able to go upstairs again. You know what's the real crap, like the real shame about all this? I'm gonna have to cancel my haircut I had on Friday. I was gonna go and get my fucking haircut. My hair's gotten all hippy dippy. And I can't, it's fucking bad. It's touching my ears and I can't do it anymore. And it's, 
make I'm going crazy. Just buzz it all off. No. No. Bald arc. You guys gotta fucking understand, okay? You guys gotta fucking understand something. My hair has been the same since I was fucking born. And there is no way in a million years I'm going to shave it all off on the off chance the same thing happens to my hair that happened to my goddamn cheeks the first time I ever grew a beard, okay? I'm never in a million years going to shave that shit off because if it never comes back, then you'll all be proven right. But until then, it's here to stay. I couldn't watch anymore. How the fuck would you even know I don't use a webcam? Fucking freaks. Dude, if you had, if you buzzed your head, I just wouldn't know. I couldn't watch it, dude. See, you know what I'm scared of is like... I think this is a fear a lot of people with hair have. Is that if you shave your head at any point in your life... You might realize your head's got a weird shape. And then you gotta like go up to your parents and be like, yo, did you guys fucking like, did you guys make me wear like a weird hat when I was a baby? Cause like, there's something weird going on with my skull that I don't remember. <laughs> why, why do I got a gamer <laughs> Dude, what? Mom! Mom, why do I got like a gamer dent in my skull? Got indents from a head from headphones. Why does it look like someone pressed their fingers into my soft skull when I was a child and drew a smiley face into my head? Who did this? There's a smiley face. I can see I can see a smiley face dent. Bowling ball ass head. I don't think I've ever had the headphone dent. Um but that's because I don't actually wear that many headphones. I usually do earbuds. So instead of having a skull dent, instead I'll have um, ravaged eardrums. And uh, that's like the trade off I get instead is that my eardrums are instead fucking destroyed, probably instead. I've done a lot more earbuds in my time than I have uh, headphones. I keep the volume down. I don't, I, don't, I don't do the thing a lot of psychos do and like cap out their volume 24 7. Kinda, I kind of reined it in. What? I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you. I need noise, dude. Just take your, just take your headphones off, okay? And wait for a second until you hear a constant beeping in your ear. Just a constant, ee because I can guarantee ninety percent of you fucking bastards have tinnitus. And you just haven't noticed yet. You have you've always had constant noise. <laughs> and that's why you need constant noise, because the sound of silence is nothing but a scream. You have it too, tomato, I've never denied it. Although mine's been getting better because I've been a lot more careful about volumes as I've gotten older. As I've, as I've aged and withered away, I've gotten way more careful about stuff like tinnitus. But I mean, I played in fucking band in high school, okay? There's only so much you can do when you're right in front of the brass section 
one row of seats in front of fucking brass. Okay, so I'm telling you right now, some of it's never going away. That's my life, that my life is that. Cause I had the trombone fuckers bonking me in the back of the head sometimes with the fucking slide. So, okay, so like that's how close I was. Oh, you've got Dane Bramage. You're right, idiot. <laughs> you misspelled some words there, idiot. You got brain damage. You get tromboned when you were younger? Moron. You know what's worse than getting slapped in the back of the head with the fucking piping of the trombone? And those assholes would fucking right behind you do this disgusting thing. This disgusting thing that only brass people do, these goddamn freaks. You just hear them go <laughs> as you hear them evacuate the spit out of their goddamn instrument like animals. I'm gonna be honest, okay? Any instrument that's ever been invented that has a valve to get spit out of it should be broken in half over like someone's knee, all right? They should just get rid of all of them. We don't need those anymore. Just destroy them. Sexes have that though. No, they do not. You don't have an individual spit valve. You just have a bunch of holes where the spit kind of awkwardly sloshes out of. <laughs> you don't, uh, you kind of just let it all flop to the bottom and that just kind of comes out on its own in a really sad, depressing way instead that's much less, uh, much more difficult to clean. I'm eating, I gotta go. Dude! Get the hell out of here then, whatever! What, are you scared? You got spit in your mouth too. <laughs> Weak guts. Shame them as they leave you. everyone shame them. Shame. Shame. Tomatoes jealous he's eating. I'll show you, chat. I'll show you all. I'm gonna order something crazy tonight. I'm gonna order something insane. I'm not doing the bell. I won't. I'm gonna order like a za, but like a good za. I need something in like high calories so I can try to get some of this weight back. Did you get that Taco Bell membership? No, and I'm never gonna try. I haven't had fucking Taco Bell in like a month or two or three probably. You guys act like I just do this all the time. If I eat Taco Bell, I lost that day. I lost. A calzone? The calzone sounds pretty good. Honestly, I might end up doing the calzone. I could go for the calzone. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about it now. Order Mr. Beast Booger. <clears throat> I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that, man. Uh, something... Something extremely dystopian about that, honestly, to me. Um, about me being a person that works in the, uh, like, games industry. And fucking turning on my Grubhub 
and ordering a Mr. Beast burger to my doorstep. Feels like, um, feels like the most dystopian choice I could make. I feel like that would make me sad if I got that. Where is the tomato burger? There won't be one. This is work, Omega Lull. Man. You know how hard it is to be me? I gotta turn on my fucking stream and deal with fucking idiots like Davy Jones. Who Omega Lull. I have to do that every day. You know how hard that is? <laughs> I have to pull myself out of fucking bed and deal with idiots like Davy Jones with a three instead of an E. And then the government knocks on my door and says, I also have to pay them money to do that. I have to give them money back. I gotta, I gotta pay them taxes to deal with people like Davy Jones. Imagine that. And then I have to go on my fucking DoorDash app and order a Mr. Beast Deluxe. Okay. <laughs> the government mandated Mr. Beast Burger. It never ends, does it? It never does, Chatlet. It never does. <laughs> so, like, psycho messages in chat. Uh, like, uh, Jesus be ballin'. If the IRS shows up at my doors, I'll break their ankles. That's kind of... Jesus, calm down. Jesus, take it easy. What the hell is going on with you lately? A hundred bits from Rift Salt. They say, I'm so sorry, Tanto. Hope this helps with your burden. It bear it does kind of. Thank you for that. It really, like that kind of stuff, it really barely gets me through the day. And that's all that matters. Thank you, Gulcher. Good name. Gulcher. For the um, 199 bits as well. Is it because of people like you that I'm able to stay alive? Luncher box, five gifted subs. Thank you. 2,000 bits from Miles Cactus. The message is blank. Thank you. <laughs> Strange glitch. <laughs> Some kind of bug in the system. Remember, guys, it's his birthday just like yesterday. Yeah, I mean, figure that one out. 5,000 bits from Mongrel Mary. Happy birthday, Tomato. Thank you so fucking much. Oh, my God. It is my birthday. Now I can buy fucking five Mr. Beast Deluxes. Now I can buy five Mr. Beast Omega Deluxes with my money. I actually think I can buy a Mr. Beast burger on my on my phone. I don't know how. Cuz that's freaky to me. What happened? Hang on, what happened? I'm scrolling up. Hang on. Oh, Sergeant Rorschach with 200 bits to say pay every mod but Katie. Yes, I, I might that that one that one went through. Uh let's see here what else we got. Uh we got fucking 200, uh, 2898 bits from Mr. Ryan it says don't pay the mod. So that's the new that's the new protocol, I suppose, Mr. Ryan. Thank you. And makeshift rat girl, thanks for the five gifted subs as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh man, chat. Mr. Beast oppression arc. Man. 
I had a fucking nightmare last night that I started doing React streaming. And I know that right now is a spicy time. There are people, the React streamers are having a rough time out there. They're having, they're having a rough time out there, so that's why it was a nightmare. They're having a rough time out there. Someone finally said you can't fully stream an entire television series online to thousands of people, which sucks. That's fucking, that's a real bummer. I had no idea either. There are laws that freaking pee, that peed me out, dude, because I was out here fucking... Dude, I thought... Dude, I, I, I was ready to do almost fucking anything out there. I thought, I thought the government people were too old to find, I thought, you know, the people who own these things were way too old to know what Twitch was. I was operating the assumption this was kind of like a Zoomer sanctuary and they would never dare enter this realm for fear of death, but they did. I found a secret society. Bloodvinder, thanks for the 5,000 bits. The message is blank, but thank you very much. Mr. Alamac, thank you for the 500 bits. I want all of my bits to go to the IRS. Good news, it probably will. It probably will. Dude, I like was so out of tune with like what the fuck other streamers were doing on this site that I truly didn't know that there were people legit turning on their stream and watching like TV. That's like wild. Now here's the thing, here's the thing. I have like a weird take on this because the concept of like DMCA and all of these laws are so dated and fucky that no, no one fucking really, all of it's bullshit. <laughs> and my take is, I don't really fucking care what anyone does until they get caught and then they got exactly what was coming to them and I don't feel bad for them at all. That's like, that's like my, that's my take on everything regarding DMCA and all that shit is, I don't fucking care what you do, but the second you get caught, I'm gonna be like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything like that because I know better and I've been doing this for fucking ten, like almost like eight, nine years. I'm not gonna do it, but I don't fucking care what you do because it doesn't concern me in any way, shape or form nor impact my business or job. Like, I'm like the old man that's just like watching all like the young idiots do stupid stuff like TikTok challenges. I'm just like rocking back and forth in my rocking chair going, <laughs> I can't wait to see how this one ends. It's rocking back and forth. It's common sense not to. Yeah. There's definitely that logic of like when you're watching a bunch of people all get away with something that makes you want to do it too and then snowballs and one person gets caught and everyone's like decalling. I can't believe we're getting- I can't believe someone's trying to stop us from doing this thing everyone's been doing. Which I do think is fucking hilarious. We are wrong, D. Colin. What the fuck? Heckin' suits, man. <laughs> It's gonna be a weird time in the next like couple months and years because I don't think anything's gonna change Because I mean all twitch has to do is Not do anything at all and just say that they'll ban anyone that breaks the rule And then they just wait for people to get caught because it does make them a lot of fucking money ignoring this <laughs> That's the thing a lot of people don't realize is that twitch is making the, It's good for twitch to allow this meta to continue whatever the fuck is going on with all those channels and just kind of shrug and be like, if someone tells us to stop them, we'll stop them. But like, until then, they're contractors. They don't work for us. We are not liable to anything that happens aside from trying to like actually cut the cord when they fucking get caught. It's kind of cursed. 
Yeah. YouTube did a lot of the same stuff back in the day. It's good until someone in the, some company decides they want to actually file for damages. Dude, and like, here's the cool thing about being me. A guy who's not part of any of this bullshit that's happening that I just get to kind of watch from the sidelines. Okay? Ad money's fucking nothing. Ad money is literally nothing. So aside from Amazon saying we're shutting down Twitch, nothing can really affect me and my business. So if a business is like, yeah, I want to fucking destroy all these React channels completely, I'm going to go, huh, this is fascinating. And I'll just like watch in like awe and sh like horror as it's like a fucking train crash happens nearby and there's just nothing I can do. I just go, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Anyways, I'm going to go back to talking on a still image for two hours and then playing an indie game that will no doubt gain financially from my coverage and therefore would have no reason to ever take action upon me. That's the life, baby. If I played like triple A games, I might eventually be in a space where I'd be like, whoa, there's always that realm where a triple A dev, like publisher might eventually be like, yeah, I've kind of had enough of streamers, but I don't see that ever happening. And that's doubly so for indie devs because it is quite genuinely sometimes the only publicity an indie dev can afford is streamers playing their game for them where I just don't, um, I can't imagine from a business perspective, any like indie group ever being like, yeah, nah, no one can ever stream our game. Cause that's like fucking, that's ad suicide. That's like exposure suicide. Konami might, dude, Konami can suck my cock. <laughs> I wouldn't play one of their games if you paid me. They could, they could beg me to play one of their games and I'd laugh in their fucking face. How much money would it take? Dude, I don't do sponsorships. I don't need money. I like it. I, I don't need like a fucking gigantic injection of $500,000 into my bank account. I'm quite comfortable where I am. Like, I, don't, I really don't have a price. Like, I love what I do and I've got, I'm in a pretty fucking comfortable place right now. I, I, I don't, I, I have been offered some pretty stupid sponsorship deals and I've ignored them. You know how many times Raid Shadow Legends knocks on my door? You know how many times they've knocked on my door? Dozens. They get different people to knock every once in a while from other companies. They never stop knocking. They're like zombies. <laughs> They're banging on the windows. Please. Please, streamer. Please. Anonymous, thanks for gifting a sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What about your Blizzard ad? Yeah, that was a dark time in my life, but I justify that by saying that when I made that video, for full context, I had quite literally no money in my bank account, and if I didn't do that video, I would have been homeless. So, uh, yeah, that was one I had to do. I didn't really have a choice on the Blizzard one. That was kind of, that was kind of a, a win for me on that one. I got paid, like, 10k for that video, and that got me back on my feet, so that was, uh, that was worth it for me on that one. Dude, chat, make no mistake. Sponsorships pay a fucking mint. All right, I'm not, I'm never gonna, I would be completely clear with you right now on that. Streamers that are taking sponsorships are making a lot of fucking money, okay? <laughs> so, be, uh, be assured that if I wanted to be fucking walking around, like if, to be honest, dude, if I started doing sponsorship videos, 
I would not, I would probably fucking turn off bit donations immediately on my stream. If I started personally me, I would be like, I don't need bit donations anymore. I'm getting like fucking paid thousands of dollars a stream just to like play something. People make a lot of money off of that. A lot. Can you even turn off bits anymore? I don't know. I leave bits on because I don't like using donations from uh, stream any like any of the websites for streaming because it's one more thing I have to like deal with. It's one more like extra input that you have to deal with and that's annoying for me. Ron's respite, thanks for the 5,000 bits. May you ripen another year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. If Tomato was invited to the new X-Play, would he show up? That's like the G4 stuff, right? Fuck yeah, would I watch that shit when I was a kid? I literally remember, and this is like so surreal to think about in like the nowadays age. It, it's so bizarre. I literally remember watching Sark on G4. <laughs> like when he was on G4, I remember watching him. And it's like fucking bizarre to be like, yeah, I went to like a movie night in his like backyard once in LA when I was like visiting. It's like so weird to like fast forward like 10, 15 years and be like, God, I'm fucking old. And God shit's so fucking freaky in the year 2022. I remember when I was a kid and I used to watch the Yogg's cast and now I know the world famous Yogg's cast stripping. That's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> now I know the world famous Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft stripping. Yogg's cast. From Rail Bros. I know both of them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I get a little toxic. Sometimes I uh, take, a, take a couple swings at my friends. You know? Sometimes I, sometimes I get a little crazy. <laughs> He'll never forget. I'll never let him. Oh my god, is that Sideshow Tomato? Oh boy. <laughs> That's how it gets me back. If you want to know the easiest way to fucking take a swing back at me is do exactly what you just did. That's the That's how you get me. Oof! <laughs> oh, gut punch! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> This music's making me crazy. What are you talking about? This music's fucking relaxing as fuck. Is that the is that tomato from Cow Chop? Dude, I showed up in one Cow Chop thing and I was drunk the whole fucking time because I was so nervous the whole time. I showed up in one I was so drunk. Cause getting drunk was the only way I could fucking function in that environment. Is that Tomato Gaming from Blizzard? My That video doesn't even exist anymore, dude. It's privatized. You can't even find it. Good fucking luck finding that. Good luck. Good luck. You'll never find it again. Ever. You'd have to find the unlisted. No, I don't even know if it's unlisted. It might just be invisible. Completely. 10, 10k for a privatized video damn blue got scammed chat I mean I've talked about it a thousand times but if you remember that video you'll also remember that there were like four different points where I showed uninterrupted bugs in the game and made jokes about it they asked me to include over 50% content in the video as new expansion stuff and I instead did pet fights 
that entire video was a meme and I expected them to tell me uh, they weren't going to allow me to upload it. And then I was going to say, well, shit, I guess my contract is voided and I don't have to upload the sponsorship. That's literally, I made it trying to get the contract voided so I wouldn't have to upload a sponsored video because I like got cold feet at the last second. And then they were like, yeah, no, it's perfect. Because they didn't actually watch it. It was great. Are you allowed to say this? What is, what's Blizzard gonna, what's Bobby gonna do? <laughs> what's up, Bobby? Thanks for the money. I'm not sure Bobby has time right now. <laughs> I think Bobby might be busy. I think all of them over there might be a little busy. They seem a little busy. Besides, there's nothing in the contract that says I can't say that I didn't want to do it and that the video shouldn't have gotten pushed by because that's on the person that, uh, you know, examined the video to decide. And if it's fine to them, it's fine. And I'm not contractually obligated to leave any video like that on my channel in perpetuity forever. That's insane. Yeah. What, you don't have a fucking mobile phone to mail? I lost my phone. <laughs> it's not even a lie, I don't know where it is in my room. I, have, I can't find it. I'm, I'm gonna order my food off of a fucking URL webpage. Want us to call you. Imagine if a, if a streamer fell for that. Oh man, to be so innocent. To be so innocent. Yeah, sure, let me just give you my phone. We can figure it out together. Just make a friend call you on Discord. Chat, you guys like act like I fucking asks you for help. <laughs> and it's it's cute. But my I'm I'll find it. It's been a half a day. I'll find it. It's ringing. Oh, God. Oh, my fucking God. How'd you get the number? What's up, Mr. 300? Can't afford a phone. Oh, mega lol. Dude, I'm afraid to buy a new phone. Is that like weird? I don't want to sound like a grandpa saying this, but I have no fucking idea what kind of phone I'm supposed to buy. Like I, I have like a, I don't even know what's my fucking phone right now. Cause it's not that old. I could have, hang on, let me look it up. I like looked over to grab my phone and I remembered I lost it. And I don't, I can't look up, what, what, look at my phone to check. I have a Galaxy S10 Plus, which I think is like from 2019 or like 2018. It's not, it's not that old. It's trash. Oh my, LOL S10 Plus. What is that? What is that good? <laughs> it's a boomer phone now. Dude, this thing's never had one problem in my entire life. I don't even want to replace it. It's not like if I upgrade my phone, I'm going to suddenly get like 6G out here where I live. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm only going to get two bars anywhere. My streamer has a season 10 phone. People like fucking ripping on Android, but dude, I don't, and this is going to sound paranoid. I fucking actually don't trust Apple with anything in my entire life, and I will never get an Apple product. I don't know why. My uncle spooked me. Like, my my uncle to told me some, like, fucking stories because he works in, like, he works in some, like, big business stuff with, like, helping with communication stuff. He's like, yeah, we'd never use Apple. Anywhere in the entire business, we would never touch an Apple phone, ever. 
And I'm like, why? And he's like, I, it, it's fucking bullshit. That's like, all, he, he refused to go deeper into it. He's like, it's bullshit. I would never suggest Apple to any one of my coworkers anywhere. He's right. Dude, I trust his fucking take. I trust that guy with my life. Like, I, I straight up, I, tr I trust him with fucking anything. So the second he was like, don't ever get an Apple phone, ever. I was like, all right, I won't, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Both are bad. I don't like any phone, dude, all right? Mainly because whenever I pick up my phone, I accidentally manage to both drop it, turn on the camera, and then set it on a timed uh, picture uh, that takes a picture of my asshole at, when I drop it on the ground beneath me. Go straight up my pants, straight past my boxers somehow, right to my asshole, and then it has flash on, and then it gets automatically mailed to like a fucking family member, and my life is over. So like, I, I don't trust the phones. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. I have like 80 pictures of me trying to like check the time when I'm in bed sleeping. And there's like 18 pictures of my shit face in bed. Like, cause it keeps take like, flashing me in the face when I try to like open the phone. I like got so desperate, I started taping the phones like light and camera over cause I was getting sick of being like flashed. I was getting like flashed by the men in black like memory thing every day and I'd forget what I was doing before I woke up. I just get fucking flashed and my eyes would dilate and I just fall back asleep never checking the time. That's a bit, right? I get neuralized every day <laughs> by my fucking phone because I got big hands, all right? Maybe it's a mercy that it's gone. I've never had that problem with my phone. Yeah, well, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Actual bonehead POV. <laughs> Is tomato one of those animals in the zoo you can't use flash photography on? Well, I've got those kinds of eyes where if you take flash photos of me, I look like a demon for one thing. I get those like fucking psycho red eyes or something, I swear. So most people don't use flash photography around me because I also get extremely fucking agitated. Like I was at, when at the one time I was asked to come to RTX before Rooster Teeth never talked to me again. Uh, someone took a flash photo of me during a convention press thing and I picked the person up and I threw him. Because they took a picture of me, I grabbed them by the neck and I threw them over my shoulder and everyone started screaming. It was bad optics. Uh, it, it was bad optics what happened that day. Uh, but no one ever talked about it because obviously RTX fucking took care of it. Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah, I don't have any pictures of me. <laughs> Whatever I, I don't like, I don't like getting pictures of me taken. Like genuinely, I don't have like any pictures of me. When someone asks to see me, I grab like a picture from like two thousand and like eighteen. If someone's like, I need to, I need a photo of you for this thing. They're like, there it is. It's like, this is you from, you, this is, you look like a child still. I'm like, yeah, well, that's all I got. And they ask for me to take a picture of me now. And it's like a, it's like a low angle, like full chin, almost a double chin for me because how awkward the low angle is. I'm looking down at it like a little freak. There's no good pictures of me, and any recent picture of me is taken with complete spite to look as just grotesque as possible. What about the Godforged face cam? That's not me.
I'm not in any D&D campaigns. Anyways, I guess uh, on that note, it's um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, get the rest of everything out of your system, chat, because in a fucking second I'm putting you into emote only mode, or more specifically, one of my mods is going to because the buttons to put you into emote only mode on my side are broken. Enjoy your last few moments of fresh air before you're silenced. And if you want, you can RP it as you can't breathe, so you can just hold your breath until emote only mode comes off. That'd be fun. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't actually do that. That'd be psych. That'd be crazy. Don't do that. Be sure to breathe. Hold your breath. Okay, everyone start holding their breath, dude. I'll be right back. I'm back. So, chat. Just so you're all aware. We're playing Lakeview Cabin 2. There's a new episode out. So I figured we'd check it out first. Probably take about an hour, or hour and a half playing that. And then we're going to switch over to um, Fears to Fathom episode 2. Which will probably be just as trashy as the first one. But that's fun. Uh, we'll do both of them and then we'll wrap up. There will, no, there will not be emote only mode for Fears to Fathom, but during the time of playing this, uh, I gotta keep you in a box because you just can't. You just can't. I can't trust you with this game. I just can't. You guys are like little freaks. You're, little, you're like little freaks. You're little perverts. And I don't, I don't like looking at that. Okay? So I'm gonna keep you in the damn box. You're not gonna get to say Krungo. You'll have to like pay someone that's used Krungo in their own emotes to say Krungo. You'll have to use all the gross emotes, all these disgusting fucking bad emotes, including my bad emotes. I'm loading up the game. We should have a fun time. We should have a fun time. I might check out the other earlier two episodes afterwards. Just to refresh myself on them. Maybe have a little bit of extra fun. And then, you know, we'll go from there. Oh. Turn on the game. Mr. Ryan, 6262, thanks for the thousand bits. Here we are back at the old... amusement park. Back at the old amusement park at night. With the popcorn. And the fun tube. And the the ball, the crystal ball. It's pretty fun. You can like pick it up and spike that idiot kid right in the back of the head with it. Flashlight. And that thing on. Head downstairs. Take a look around the bottom of the place. Lots of garbage down here beneath the Doc. 
Lots of stench. Hello? Anyone? Hello? Seems to be some kind of strange party guy over there. <laughs> I, I missed the exit. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine, chat, because we're just not gonna deal with it. We're just not gonna deal with it. We're just gonna get the hell out of here right away. Into episode three of Lakeview Cabin. We'll go straight into the gameplay. Not waste any time. Twilight Zone fucking thing. <laughs> what happened? What, what happened? Hello? Chicken. Chicken. Feed. I think. Are we like in one of the shows? Oh. Ah, yes. Here I am. Feast chicken. Wait a minute. Hold up, what the hell? Hello? I thought I was like in the. I'm on a set. Wait a minute, this ain't this ain't real. I'm on a set. Hang on, activate character swap. What's happening? Our goddamn tire just fucking popped. That tug. Okay. Oh, so we're on like four different sets for four different shows. And what about this guy? God damn it. I'm still, I have control of my character right now at the mouth thing. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh my God, dude, what the fuck? Look at that, look at that man. I, I look just like that too, except I'm larger and have I have longer arms and legs. And uh, I'm, I'm just, a I'm larger than that. I don't look like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm as, I'm as muscular, but just not, but I, but I have, I don't look like, I'm not so stumpy. What I'm trying to say is that I pump regularly. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Where's my phone? Hello? Well, I couldn't answer it and I think I fucked it up big time. I'm just gonna go over to the next guy. I think I already fucked up this the whole sequence. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, ye yes. Hmm, ye yes. Let's take a look around. 
Okay. Good stuff. I got some buttons. I got some levers. They do things. Not bad. This is some kind of cruel puzzle. I don't even want to think about it. All right, we got some kind of like, got some stairs. Naked lady. It scares me to think about. Or it might be the lightning that's worrying my guy. And up here we have obviously a completely safe pyrotechnics here on the set with some lightning. This is visual, it's a visual effect, it's light. So we can just go ahead and start. Okay, it's not real, it's real, it's real, it's real lightning. It's real lightning, it's real lightning. It's real, it's actually real. All right, let's go back to the nice guy here. Back on the farm. Back on the farm. Yeah, look at that. The girl likes that. What's uh, what's going on in the house though? There's gotta be something awry. Is this some kind of, can I use this as like a weapon? No, wait, I just heard like a scary sound. Quiet the music. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Mima. Ow, what the fuck, you bitch? What the hell? I was just trying, she's sick, she's dying. She's like shoved me to the ground, she like kicked me with her foot. Well, she got like mad at me. Mima. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to kill Mima. I think that's like definitely happening in this game. I think I'm gonna have to take down Mima. Let's turn back on the music. Mima, I brought you fresh food. You're sick, you need to eat or you'll die. What's that sound? Yo lady, there's some kind of scary sound happening inside the set. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh what that's about. Oh! Oh, no! Well, all in a day's work. Gonna get this cooking. Yeah. That'll be cooking up. That's gonna be something nice for me, Ma. Ow, fucking hell. Stop doing that. Chicken. Chicken, do something, chicken. I'm not gonna worry about that guy. I don't know what's going on in that place. I'm gonna move over to this guy. My dog just ran into the woods. I'm going after him. My boy. My lad. Tire jack, that, that could be useful. And fix up the car now. Perhaps. Wait, where did the little girl go? What the hell? Wasn't there like a person in the car here? Oh no, there's people disappearing from the set. That's not good. Oh. I got another tire. That's good. Now I can replace that and fix that soon. Still don't know how to. I need like something to hold the car up. I think. Whatever, we'll just keep. We'll stick to this guy. Is everyone alive? What's up? Okay. <laughs> Also alive, doing good. Scary song happening in this place. But nothing, uh, nothing weird yet. Something else deeper in. I found a hockey stick. I can hide. But God knows why I need to. My dog, come here, you're sick. Ooh, wait, hang on. I need this. I'll be back for you. I need to fix the car first. The sun's setting. This is a big issue. Uh, will this cause issues for my- Oh my god, I just ate something. All right, 
We gotta fix the car like now. We gotta fix it right now. I don't know how to fix it. Uh. I don't know how to fix the fucking car. He knows how to get in. He, the dog knows how to like open the door. I'm gonna switch over to like this guy. Let's just worry about this guy's deal for now. Let's do one thing at a time. Okay, my guy sat down. Are you feeling like you need a drink? Use that to refresh yourself. Would you like to take a look at my bonsai tree? Use that to relax yourself. I think I just cut the music. I like this music though. Is the guy still alive? It's quiet. I don't see the dog anywhere. I'll just keep hiding in the car. This guy's still good. What about this guy? Old man? Everything's fine with old man too. I'm not seeing anything going on with the old man. It's just a brain. There's nothing weird going on with the brain. This guy? I think Meemaw's gonna like become alive at some point. It's quiet. It's all totally quiet out here. Nothing. Oh, shovel. Hang on, can I grab this and use it to bop Meemaw on the head? <laughs> Lady, I'll be right back. I gotta like, she, I'm getting weird sounds when I'm near Meemaw. I'm just getting worried about Meemaw. Chicken, I need you to move. You're not gonna wanna. Chicken, I need to move outside. I don't wanna see this. Become a monster like the other things did. Go on. Go on, do something. <laughs> do something. This was a mistake. I see, I, I think I made a mistake. Hey, um. <gasps> no! I didn't even mean to, I was trying to drop it. We're moving on, that guy's fucked. We're gonna hang out with this guy, we're gonna hang out with the cool guy. Let's get the lights on. This guy hasn't had any problems. What is this, my blade? <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see something try to make a problem now. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of in control of my destiny right now. If I remember the attack button ever in my life. Yeah, I'd watch out, chat. This guy's packing. Take a look around. You got the money room? This just goes outside. Can I go? I can go outside if I don't, if I like unlock it. Okay. Is there anyone out here? Hello? 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 <laughs> oh, is there someone? Is someone fucking out of here? Oh! There's not an invisible wall. It's not invisible. I need help. Help! Help! Ah! Anyways, what's going on in this spooky scientist place? Yeah, I'm not too concerned about monsters now. Wait a minute, what the hell? What? Ah, yes. It's all coming together. Can other players do this? What's up, lady? Pay no mind to me. Ema is still freaking. I could grab this the whole time. Yikes. Um, I feel kind of bad about killing Mima because I thought I had to kill her to get the key, but I didn't. Wait. I'm in. Hello? There's something in this box. 
I think the best plan for me is to destroy it. There's some kind of demon in this box. I'm gonna look into options to, wait, hang on. Oh, mother of God, Jesus Christ, so a giant chicken. I really shouldn't have fucked up the lawnmower. You should get out of here. Because it's about to get, this thing can't come in the house. I'll kill him. I'll Fuck off! I'm loaded. I'm packing. It stopped. Ah! Help! <laughs> this place is a freaking mess. The dog, no! Dog Chan, stop it! My, my precious baby boy! The scientist is A-OK, -okay, though, is the thing. Just gotta figure out how to... Wait, wait, wait. Hey, asshole! Burn. And perish. By my hands. Perish. It's time to cook the chicken. Ah. Is this, uh, should I be getting the heck out of here? Whatever, what happened to me? It seems like I won something. The credits have rolled. So it seems like every single character has to kill one of the antagonists of their level. As in like, one of each. Everything has to die, but one player does not. You don't necessarily have to kill your own. If one of your characters dies, they can be, they can, you can go to a different one. To kill the next one. Right, because this guy's gone. That girl has to get the heck out of here. But this guy, I got I got a serious problem with this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about this one. How do I fix the fucking car? Okay, step one to fixing a car. You got to get the fucking lift down. You got to get the, I got to get this thing down. All right, that's not working at all. I'm, mix, I'm missing like a tool. Be cool. Stop! Maybe I just leave. Maybe I go to one of the other areas. Maybe that's what I do. Maybe there's something I missed. A hammer! Of course. Oh, mother of God! Okay, hammer. Changed nothing. I need more tools. Perhaps I can find another tool inside someone else's world. Chicken zone. I'll be taking this. <laughs> With this, we have a chance. Okay. If I go in here, this one takes me where? Spooky zone. Okay. Spooky zone's kind of a mystery to me. I flushed the toilet. Hang on, I'm gonna keep trying to spin this before this thing kills me. I'm, I'm doing something. Something's happening. I think you need two characters here to do this one. Hang on, go for it, go for it, go, go, go. Ah! Please. I can spin even when I'm down. <laughs> we can do this. happened to me what just happened
All right, I know how to do it. I can do this. Rerun, 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 let's go. Okay. This guy first. I've got everything I need to do. Fuck, I can't get to the goddamn... Problem is, I can't get to the shovel. Wait a minute, wait, hang on, Re redo, 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 redo it, hang on, I got, I don't need the shovel yet. We don't need the shovel yet. Go back. We don't need the shovel for the bird, for the chicken. The cock can be killed regardless. We just have to go up here and get the fucking key from Mima. Unfortunately, Mima is alive. Wait, she just told me chicken feed. Mima, are you fucking hungry? What's up? I think she wa I think she wants chicken food. Okay, all the chickens have been fed. There you go. Some like weird music happened when I did that. Mima, was that enough? Are we good? This old bag's been telling me what to do for years. Give me the damn key. She also wants me to do the dishes. This old bitch. All right. That's what it takes to get the key. I needed to not, I need not kill Mima. We don't need to kill Mima yet. For now. She'll live. For now. Hang on. Where's my dog? I gotta stop the dog before it turns into a horrible monster. Doggy! I gotta kill this thing. <laughs> I gotta kill the dog. I'm sorry. It's too late, I fucked it. It's over. He's gonna die. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking kill us. Well then. I just need the cleaver. What's up, lady? I don't think I can get on this. Yeah, you can't get on it and also do it, but I'll leave the cleaver there. Okay, so I'm gonna summon, I'm gonna let, it's time for the chicken one. Let's get this one dealt with. I think, uh, prepare yourself for demise by my hands. Chicken, get ready. Here we go. The second he walks out of that goddamn door, I'm gonna run him over. He, uh, he fucking jumped to the goddamn thing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's as simple as that, baby. <laughs> it's as simple as that, baby. It's not looking good. It's, it's really not looking good. I threw a thing on his head. <laughs> We're getting closer. He's getting worn down. He says he's stunned. Ah! Next character. We fucked this one up already, I think. I think the dog one is beefed. Wait, there's something behind this wall. I need the car working to get behind the wall. Ah! Ow, fuck! My boy, you fucking you, you cut me up, dude. You fucking cut me. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm dying. You slashed me. You slashed me in half. I'm fucking bleeding everywhere. I'm bleeding. I'm crying. How could you do that to me? How could you do that to me? Why? You were my boy. You were my. You were like a child to me. I'm gonna have to kill you. 
I'm gonna have to do what I should have done a long time ago. And fucking murder you. I'm gonna have to murder you. I'm gonna have to grab this goddamn tire iron and smack you until you die. Because you gave me no choice. It's a foolish animal. Okay, I'll let you, I'll let you have that one. <laughs> that guy is dead. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party started. What do I got on the answering machine? The heck is this? Some kind of like target. Nothing, a little bit of Nippon steel. Can't, hang on, let me answer that. Hello? Stop calling me! Didn't trust her as far as I could throw her, which is coincidentally actually pretty far. All right, this mo the monster in this one's dead. Wait, what was that? <gasps> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no! That's bad! That's really bad! I'll hide in the darkness. <laughs> I'd like to see a robot defeat Nippon Steel, okay? Slash me hides in closet and switches to next character. Hmm, yes. What's this? I can make many flashlights. And tools. Let's make one of everything so I don't so I don't need to get more stuff. Okay. So what the heck is this thing? Some kind of ecto absorber. That's good. And this is a flamethrower. You can probably use it to kill any of the monsters. Let's try to look around. Anything up here? My wife. My guy gets sad whenever he comes over here. I think that may be my way. Hang on. Man, this guy's OP as fuck. Okay. Time to get to the bottom of this. I wish- I just wish I had some way to absorb lightning. Cause you know I just don't, I just can't- That's like something I don't have- unfortunately have any capabilities of, uh, stopping. Is lightning. There has to be a reason for me to have that thing. Okay, so yeah, it looks like all these things require some power source and I don't have enough for any of it. Okay, so I can like... Uh, that was like a cl like I can clean myself off. I need to do the lightning thing. Evidently. How do I stop myself from being zapped by fucking lightning? I could just ignore the lightning. Ow. Fucking ow. I don't think this is gonna work. I got hit again by the fucking lightning. I'm getting- I'm getting- this guy's getting completely ba like bodied by the lightning. This is just not... I think I have to... I think I have to get over to this side. Spin it! Keep charging! Go! 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 Something's working! Something's happening! It's working! Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. Just a little bit more! Please! Please! No! It was ready! I know how to do it now. Wait a minute. You tell me that, hang on. I'm getting the heck out of here, hang on. Hold up. Where the hell's the exit to that guy's house? I think for some reason that's like, a, that's like an official completion for that guy. This guy might be able to get out of here. If this robot doesn't fucking cut me in half. 
Oh fuck! <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Ooh. He doesn't know. I'll finish what that guy started. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> Fool. He has no idea I packed Nippon Steel for this exact occasion. Get ready to be fucking cut and twine. Hey, check this. I like to throw this guy. I think he's just. I think he's gonna get back up. Do this quick. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck! Ow! Fuck! Give me this. Ow! Fuck! Ow! All right, we're fine. This guy's not going down that easy. Activate all machinery. Arise. Brain. Brain, arise. Arise, my greatest creation. I'm injecting the yellow now. Yes. Yes! Fool, I packed a Nippon Steel. This isn't working. Fool, I packed a jetpack. Hmm, I think I need I need uh, I think I need something uh, something to kill this thing. I need to get rid of this guy. I think um I think I might need to blast him with a little bit of high power radiation. The hell, do you even know how to go into other rooms, asshole? Follow me. Whoa! You're fucking glowy. Why won't you die? What will it take for you to die? Do you, what? What does? What do you want? He broke my fucking ladder. Okay, I gotta get to the side without getting hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning. Oh, wait! What did I just do? I turned off the rain. What does that do for me? I, I, I think I'll die if I get if I cross one more time. I think I'll die. Ow! He's right here too. Don't, just don't die. He's coming this way. Die! You old freaky bastard. Okay, he completely. He just immediately walked right by it. Maybe he's weak. Maybe he is weak to water. Yo, wait! Well, well, well. Another solution found. There's also this hole over here. Hang on, get this out of my face. I'm not done yet. Wait, hang on, get this out of my... I'm not done yet. The dark blade. All right, I'm done. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Ugh. This episode's fucking awesome, by the way. This one's great. I love this episode. I love like the four different settings all like connecting within each other. I think it's great. We know how to do chicken one. We know how to do evil man one. We have to do dog one. We have to do car one. Car one's I think the one with the most like pressing. Stop right there. I have to kill this dog. <laughs> Dog either has to die or go in a. I can't drop him. If I drop him, he's gonna get away and do some freaking BS. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I really fucking hate that I have to do this. He's trying to bamboozle me. Fuck 
fucking dare! Don't you fucking stop that! He's gonna <laughs> stop! Stop! Wait, there's something up there. Get trashed on. Here, take your bone back. You like eating garbage, asshole? Okay. Hang on, I wanna restart just to see if there is a way I can stop. I, I think the dog just can't be stopped. But I'm gonna try one thing, cause we know what the dog goes for at the beginning. He's going for that goddamn bone. So if I beat him to the bone, he won't go to the nuclear waste. Right? But the bone is radioactive. That's the problem. I had to find a way to keep this bone from the... I already have the bone. There's no reason for you to be over there. See? Yeah, this is how you do it. I have to keep the bone in my hand or he won't transform. For now, he's a good boy. Until he gets this freaking bone. And then he becomes like a bad boy. I can't go in anything or I drop the bone. For now? This guy's gotta stay right here. I think I'm missing like an item I need to get the wheel off the car and I think it's in the, it's in the tree there. Okay. I also don't know how to deal with this guy. So this guy's the next one we need to do. So I've got Nippon Steel, and it seems like the catalyst for this guy's whole deal is... Hello? Is when I execute this lady and throw her off the building. I bet this robot's weak to water. So I'm gonna keep some water right here. Is there anything weird I can do outside? Construction hat, I can't get that. Oh yeah, it's totally water. The robot's weak to water. I think it's gonna make him go all crazy. There's water there, I could also spray water on him. I think this guy's weak to water. Okay, I gotta lock the door. Now let's see what else I can get in this house that's full of, that's got water. Is there any wa what was this? What is this? Is this a sausage? I think that's just like a bunch of water. Oh my god, baby, look at that. Oh! I see what I do. I get it. I'm gonna get him covered in water and then I'm gonna freeze him and then I'm gonna kill him. I, I, I gotta get this guy covered in water and then I'm gonna huck him, I'm gonna lure him over here and then I'm gonna freeze him and break him in half with Nippon steel. It all makes sense now. Now the question is, Do I have to slay that lady? I think the girl's gotta die. Just taking it easy. I think I gotta kill the girl. I, I think you're evil. I think I gotta get rid of this lady and huck her into the fucking abyss. Cause it seemed like that robot appeared the second I killed the lady. Which, I mean, I feel bad about, but it's like... Come on! What the hell do you want from me? Bowl. I'm gonna ice cut him. I can cut him up. Sorry about this, lady. The way I see it, it's you or me, and it might as well be you. I'm famous. I can't reach you with this thing. You're too tall. I'll be right back. I need a better murder instrument, like instrument. This isn't gonna work. We'll use this to do the deed. Is there anything else in these drawers? 
Is this an egg? This doesn't kill the girl. Egg! That doesn't, that's nothing. <laughs> that's nothing. That's, that's officially nothing. And there, there's no, nothing showing up. Which means, very obviously, wait a minute. Where does my guy, I think I might need to check, where did my guy, my guy fell from the ceiling. Oh my God. Now, does this make me better at surviving? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that actually helps me. I think what I actually might need to do, chat, is jump off of the roof and see where I land. Because I think I might need the robot to... I don't think the robot is going to walk into the water of the hose if I don't make, give it a reason to back up over here. Because I think I need to bait it over here, then go up onto the roof, and then, like, fall onto something. I'm going to do a couple tests of this because everything else is pretty easy to set up. Yeah, my guy did not land on that uh, fucking thing. He didn't even goddamn try. He didn't even try to land on the fucking bed. Maybe he was naked. Redo, redo. Redo, maybe if he was naked, he'd land more cleanly. <laughs> Give that another go, but this time I'm going to get naked. Wait, maybe that summoned the robot. Answering the fax machine. Something sending the elevator down. We'll see if that does anything. Something sending the elevator down. I'm gonna get naked. I'm gonna see if I land any cleaner now. No! The answer is a big no. Landing cock first changed nothing. One more check. Wait, did you see that though? Hang on, the money thing. Wait, what was that with the money? Is that there's a key or something? I'm gonna kill this girl and see if the uh, robot shows up. T. Yup, it's totally when the girl shows up. What is it? Oh my god! It's a fucking robot! Wait, I think he's scared of the water. Oh my god, it's a freaking Battleborg or something! He hates water! Ow, frick! He's screaming! Wait, no, I'm screaming. Alright, he hates water! Part two of the plan, go! My guy's crying. Ow, Abby! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Man! <laughs> Hello? Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus! It made him angrier. All right, he came through the roof. I wasn't aware he would do that. But now I'm wise to his antics. Okay. So the one we actually need to figure out that is most important, because the only one on a time limit is this guy. We have to solve this guy's stupid fucking thing. You, dog. I need you in the car. Wait, where the hell does this girl go? I need to figure out where she's going. She just disappears. Okay, she just disappears. Okay, dog. Then that means all I need to... Fuck, I need to, like, get... 
Whatever's in that tree. Doc, I need you to like not do anything crazy. I don't know what to do about this foolish animal. Wait, damn it, I thought maybe, no, 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 no. Oh, he's, yeah, we went the wrong way. Wait, I see what to do. Fuck, but I need to keep this fucking bone from the dog to do it. I gotta use this hockey stick to huck a garbage bag up to there to get whatever's in that fucking tree. And either way, this dog has to transform, I think, for it to happen, because I'll never have enough time to keep it all, keep everything away from everything. We just gotta go. Let's go. Okay, he's just going for it. Let's see if this works. It's happening. Damn it. Fuck. You get something up there. Got it. What is this? The fuck even is this thing? Dog, it's medicine to help you. I have no idea what the fuck this is. I don't know what this thing is. It's a freaking evil again. He's turned evil. Now he eats garbage now. I wish I understood how to fix the car. Because I think that's the main issue right now is I don't know how to get all the parts working. At all. I just don't get it. It's, uh, it's... It's not happening. And if I can figure out how to fix the car... Whoa. What the hell does happen? If I figure out how to fix the car... The game has, something has gone awry. There we go. If I figure out how to fix the car, I can do everything else. Oh, the dog's already gotten over here. The dog completely circumvented me. Just do whatever the hell you want. I gotta figure out how to make this. Maybe this goes, maybe that fucking glowing thing goes to this and I'm missing a part of this that I need. Well, if that's true, I've got about 30 seconds before the dog scampers this way and fucking kills me. So let's do this quick. Please. Okay, I didn't do anything. I stacked the two things and didn't do anything. Ah! I'm okay. I'm alive. It worked that time! Okay, I was just throwing it in the wrong spot. It worked that time. When I threw it that time, it worked. Okay, I just need to do, I need to position it perfectly when I throw it. Okay. I, I, I figured it out. I can do this. You just have to stop the dog from eating that fucking bone. Go, 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 go. Dude, I need the camera to fucking work with me. Please. Okay. Quickly. Quickly. No, you fucking don't! Damn it! He's so fast! Stop! You don't understand what you're becoming. He's turned into a demon, El Diablo. Gotta find the wrench. Where's the dog? I can do this. With or without the dog active, I can pull it off. Here it goes. All right, gotta get the wrench, gotta get the wrench. Wrench is next. Wait for the dog to go by, then we go for it. We will survive. This is the only one of these that I think will give us any real trouble. 
Well, and maybe the, uh, scientist guy. Where the hell's the dog? There he is. Alright, he's going the other way. Let's do this. Got it. That guy, get inside the car. Not, not like this. Inside the car. We gotta wait for the dog to go back by. I need to know which side of the fucking map he's on. This one's tense. I can hear him. I think I can hear him if he's one map away. You know, you you know for a fact if I walk over to one of the doors, he's gonna immediately break through and fucking rip my face off. Yep, that was the one I was gonna go through too. Alright, I see the tire. Alright, we gotta wait for him to go back to the to the to the spill. And then we get this out of here. Thanks for the tire, idiot. <laughs> I couldn't get in it! That's it, bro! You can only use the bushes one time! Oh, that's fucked! That's fucked! Redo! I can do this! I can do this! I just have to- I have to min-max the dog. I know how. Okay, I know how. I'm gonna- I know how to do it. Where's that fucking dog at? You are mine! Chat, here's how we do it. Okay, I have a plan. This dog right here... Doesn't leave my side for a moment, baby. Here's how we do this. <laughs> Gotta juggle him. Come back here, where are you going? Oh god, I gotta stop him. Oh god, I gotta stop him. I don't know which way he went. He's gonna come back this way. The only thing I know is he'll come back this way. For the bone. No, you fucking don't know! I got him. Foolish animal. Shit! Shit, shit! I have to stop him again. Why don't you just come on through? We both know you're gonna. Gotcha, you little bastard. You're not going anywhere. Don't you fucking dare. I went that way. He went the wrong way. Dog fucked up. I, I just gotta grab him when he tries to go for this fucking door. You come from either side. Oh, Jesus, he's fast. I got him. Okay, the hardest part's gonna be getting that glowy thing. And all these parts in here without the dog getting to the next room. Because he's getting wily. He, he, he's catching on to my tricks. Okay, I'm gonna go for the, the tire next. Don't. Don't! No! We gotta move. We've done well and we can use the fucking... Get that thing. Let's do this. We just gotta get everything else in position. It's gonna take the dog like a minute to do his fucking psycho shit. We have time. Oh, did I put the tire? Got it. Everything is here. We need only to get it all on the car. We can do this. This is what we were born to do. my set hello lady oh fuck if the lady's dead <laughs> no no if the lady's dead 
Yo, you know where the dog went? Everything's wrong now. This fucked up everything. Where's the lady? If I'm here, <laughs> then where's the lady? Lady? The dog's gonna like run over here and fucking instantly maul me because I don't think the dog's dead. I don't think the dog's dead either. All right, man, so, uh, got some weird news. Um, we're both fucked. <gasps> what are you? What are you? Who are you? Who are you? I didn't know this is how it was gonna happen. Get the places to hide. We need to hide. Get naked! No, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> no! Wait. I fucked it up! No, I'm panicking! I'm panicking! I gotta get out of here! I had my chance and I missed it! There is a moment of opportunity when the dog comes through. Where you can kill it when it falls off the roof. Yeah, laugh it up. Laugh it up, dog. All right. So the... Stop rolling credits! I didn't loot. I didn't win. I have a plan. First person we have to complete the story of is the is the guy. This guy. It's this guy first. We gotta kill the robot first. Robot has to be first to be killed because if we don't do that, then the lady can't summon the robot. If we do it the other way around, so this guy's gotta be done first. Nothing else matters. It's just him. Let's do this. Good news is, the robot seems pretty easy. What the heck is that light in the sky? What is that, flare? What is that? I didn't see that last time. Okay. We gotta do this by the books. So, what we'll have to do... Open this. Open up the fridge, let that all chill out, because that's the plan. Grab the sword, get it over there too. Okay. Sword over here. Next I'll get naked. No, I won't I won't get naked. I'm gonna stay clothed for this one. I gotta I actually gotta grab the sword and I gotta kill that girl. She has to die for this to happen. Let me go outside. Okay. This is so dumb. I hate this. I kill a girl. Go outside. Activate the hose. Sorry, lady. We ask you this, you or me. Okay. It's beginning. Outside next. Before the present can fucking get me. Outside, across quickly. Get ready to activate this thing. As soon as he gets near me. Hey, asshole, over here. Now, go, go, go. Now he's gonna run upstairs and fall through the roof. Yeah, it's just in case. Where is he? Oh, wrong side! He bl I killed him! There are a couple casualties lost.
during it. Okay, so I think it might be a better idea if we do it. But that, yeah, whatever, man. Let's stop, stop that. I think it would be a better call if we did it and then followed him so we could be sure which side of the fucking place he was going to fall into. And then again, I don't think I need to know which side he falls into. I need to know he can also fall on me, which I wasn't ready for when I did that. But I think we've got the cycle down. I just need to get the... I just need to do it right, God damn it. Oh, wait. I gotta grab the dog. You. Okay, yeah. That would have been a fuck up. I gotta have the dog in that guy's hands to stall that part. Okay. Do I just... Hang on. I kind of want to test this, too. I want to see if I can just do it with the water one first, because that might be a weaker version of the hose one. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try doing... I'm gonna try hitting it with water with the spray can first, because that might be, like, weaker. Sorry, lady. I'm gonna see if that does a better job. Uh, come out. Oh, I forgot to lock the door. Yeah, it looks like that made him really mad. It looks like it's a threshold, is what it looks like. So I think when he gets hit by the hose, I also want to, per like, at the same time, spray him with water. All right, dog, in my hand. I think I want to spray him with water as he's hit by the hose at the same time. That's the plan. So first of all, lady, prepare to meet steel. Okay. I fucking blasted. Stops him. Oh, I'm out. That was all the water I had. Hmm. So what's causing, I guess the fall is what makes his like face fall off. Hang on. So that means there's one last thing I want to check. Cause it looks like I got to stun him with water and then hit him. So hang on, one last, one last ride before we do like the real one, the real one. One last try here, hang on. Gotta get this outside. This is like a multitasking one. I gotta like have like five different weapons ready. Leave that right there. No, leave it right here. Other side, right here. I can't waste any water. All right, grab the katana. I will need it. Kill the girl. Now, let's do this right. I need him over here. He fucked off. He's coming back. He's he's coming back. He'll be back any second now. I can hear him like scampering. Hello. He's lost. He has no idea. Fucked up big time! We just gotta keep blasting him and stalling him! He ignored the water! He just didn't care that time! 
I don't think the per I don't think that one's the, the right option. I think I think the hose is the good one. I I I think that one was a load of freaking BS. If I'm gonna be honest, I think we used the hose. That one didn't even do anything that time. I don't have enough time to switch to the sword. Okay. Get the hell out of here. We're gonna use the hose. Okay. We're gonna see how much damage we can do to this thing. Excuse me. Hey. It's me, the guy you're after. Now die. That seems to have made him angry. Okay. He's ignoring it again. What the hell is this robot's fucking problem, dude? I'm seeing I'm seeing some sparks coming off of him now. Hang on, I want to watch him for another second. He's got like different sparks coming off of him. No, 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 get out of my way. I'm trying to see if he like blows up a little. Cuz it doesn't look like he's getting wet, so I don't think my idea of like getting him cold Well, now we went up to the roof and fell. Fuck, now I gotta, like, get on another character to see if I can, like, get to that spot so I can see if he's, like, de like took damage from the fall. Because I don't think he took damage. Hang on. Yo, are you, like, dead or... I think we just gotta get him really wet and then run away. I think it really is just use the hose and then book it away from him as hard as we can, hide somewhere until he like blows himself up. Cause we didn't really do much that time. I mean like we slashed him with the sword, but he didn't take any damage. Alright. <laughs> that makes stuff easier. Sword is irrelevant. We're gonna grab the perfume, we're gonna blast it with water, and then we're gonna run away from the guy. I have a plan. I gotta get him on the other side of me is the problem. It's only a matter of time till we do it by the books, Chad. It's only a matter of time. Okay. Hey, asshole. Over here. Okay. Now we're gonna spray him on this side, which will make him go upstairs, maybe, if we're lucky. Cause he's not gonna have any choice but to go upstairs. Cause he's gonna be sprayed by water. He's not gonna want to be here anymore. He's gonna go upstairs. Right? Oh my god. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Short out and go upstairs. Come on. Go upstairs. Upstairs. He loves the water. He this guy fucking loves the water, dude. He loves the water. But when's he gonna do something else? I think the water is fucking up his pathing, path so he doesn't want to go upstairs either. There he goes. Okay, I gotta hide. I made him angrier. Fuck! There's only one place on this level to hide! Does he just blow? Hang on, I wanna watch something. Maybe he just blows up on his own naturally now. There's only one place in the entire level to hide, and it's that fucking closet right there. Do I just assume once I've sprayed him with water that he will just eventually fall to his death twice? And as, as soon as I've done that, start working on the tire thing? I feel like that's all I can do. I think I get that guy in the water and I just hide in the closet until this all blows over. Yes. It all makes perfect sense now. I just have to not do anything at all.
I'll hide in the closet with the fucking perfume or whatever it is. Yes. I'll sneak around in the closet with my water sprayer. Yes. Yes. This is exactly how we do it. It's time. Now we wait for the big accident to happen. Now we all just wait right here, because eventually this stupid robot is gonna crash through the ceiling and blow himself up. See? It's time. You think he's gonna do it again and actually blow himself up? He might. This might be all we need to do is just kind of hang out. I give it a second. It's real quiet. He's not dead. Hang on. This is like the only way we can stop him. I'm like wigged out. Dude, I don't know where he is. He's got to be outside. Lock the door. I heard him. Wait, no, 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 I'm not sure now. I'm spooked, dude. I don't know where the fuck this guy went. Hello? Hello? Stop calling his number. Okay. He's outside. It's the only place he can be. But where? He died! He died fucking ages ago! He's been dead for weeks! We win! Okay. You're next. We have to do the car next. And then, we will grab the katana and cleave our dog in twine whenever he transforms out of his monster form and back into dog form. And he will die. Okay. Now the question is, do I do this guy first since he has, an, he has the next highest chance of absolute guaranteed failure because his thing is RNG with the lightning. I feel like I should do this guy next. Because I think he, I think he's, I know how to do his. Wait, I can also go, all right, so even if someone's not dead, as long as you finish their level, you can leave and get stuff from their map. Okay. That's great. I shouldn't need anything from this map for this one. Other than this jetpack. Can I go over the water? Turn it off. Okay, I gotta get to the middle to stop the lightning. Unless there's some way I can pull the lightning, but I don't think there is. I can definitely go over it. Which is good, unless this has like a fuel cap. There's gotta be something I can do to stop the lightning. Or I just fucking activate it. Hup. This goes up with or without those wheels. Dude. I think the wheels are a bunch of bullshit. I think those are like a trap to trick you into thinking you need them. It's happening regardless. I don't need to be putting myself in danger. Oh, wait. There we go. Yep. Okay, so I have to. But I think I can just spin the one over here, which is closer to the side. Fuck. Get me up! Get me up! Don't die like this! No! 
bro. God damn it. That I gotta do this one first. This one's gotta be done first, because I it's the it seems to be the most RNG. The other ones I can do I think I can do all the other ones perfectly now. That one I gotta do first. This one, the dog one's not bad. Dog one's not bad. This guy's easy as fuck. This one's a actual piece of cake. And is it timed? I just gotta do this stupid scientist, man. Maybe if I bring like something, I got an idea. Hold up. Hold up, scheme. Does it change anything if I have a bunch of metal objects up there with me? It's like draw the lightning. Ow. I don't think so. Yeah, it just seems like this one might be a little bit of RNG. I can interact with the stuff while I'm like on the ground. But there seems to not really be... Okay. If I keep spinning it, I think that makes it a lower chance of like actually overheating. If I take one more piece of lightning, I think I die. Please! Please! It's so close! Please! Please! Fuck! I think it's just like a coin flip, dude. I, I, that, there's probably some that lets me survive the lightning. But it might be in another character's game. And I have to finish them first to get it. But what? But what? But what? I don't think I need it, though. I think I just need to, like, fucking do this until I get it right, and then I'll never have to do it again, and it won't matter. The only thing I can think of is the hard hat behind the wall. But I can't... The, the robot never cut through that. It's for me to use it. Look, I just gotta get lucky. Eventually, I'll just get lucky, and I won't get hit by any lightning. The faster these things go, the more lightning is drawn to the fucking balls. Which might mean that it's safer. I might be able to, like, survive if I just quickly sprint back and forth and get lucky. Please! Get off, man! One more! You just... There's gotta be a trick to this. There has to be some kind of trick I'm missing. There's gotta be. There has to be something that, that, that like, that's too miserable. Otherwise, you have to have a trick. There's gotta be. There's just gotta be. There's just gotta be. I refuse to accept that there isn't some kind of trick. But what? There's this golden, there's this glowy thing in the fucking nest up here that I don't know what that goes to. But it seems like all these levels can be done without needing any extra items. What does this thing do? What does this thing do? Can I suck up lightning with this? No, what if I just keep fucking trying and brute? Okay, that's a bad fucking sign. Now, now it's like the worst sign possible. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No lightning hits the spot very often. Hold up. Hold up. Hang on. You spin aside fast enough and lightning stops hitting you as much. Hold up! Okay, you have to do both. Huh. How do I get someone from... I only need two people then. The fact that I almost got lucky enough and did it on that one actually makes me so fucking sad, dude. That might have actually done it. Yeah, that did it too. Move your fucking head, I want to see that I did it right, because I think I did. 
I think I got it at the last second just by wiggling like an idiot. No. Stop rolling the fucking credits! No, I didn't. It stopped, it stopped at like the last second. Damn, man. Well, I can definitely kill every monster. You know, there's nothing... There is... Hang on. Hold up. Idea. Scheme in my head. Scheme in my head. Big scheme. Huge, gigantic scheme. Gigantic, huge scheme. Huge. Huge scheme. I need to check something. I need this robot to help me confirm if once the monster is dead, can this guy not go in the portal and instead like leave like normal to another zone? Because that could change everything. It fucking watered on. Okay, now we just let this guy die. We don't have to do anything else with this guy for a while. The question is, what do we do about this fucking guy? That was one of the two breaks. Hold up. Hang on. Wait a minute. No, that doesn't do anything. I was thinking maybe this counted as like a lightning rod. And could like pull lightning towards it. It is! That light, lightning doesn't usually reach over here. Hang on. Hmm, I don't know. This is fucked up that nothing's hitting me now. This blocks lightning. Oh. Uh, no, it never mind. <laughs> it was in my head. It was in my head, ladies and gentlemen. It was in my head. Or maybe not. No, it's kind of in my head. I think it's just in my head. I think it was placebo. It blocks some of it. It blocks some lightning. It doesn't really do all of it, though. It doesn't do anywhere near enough. Stop rolling the fucking credits, dude. Was that almost enough to do it? I, I might have been just in my head. I swear, it might have just been in my head, but for some reason, that seemed like it was working. The design of these levels has so far made it clear that you don't need to use other guys to do it right. I keep thinking maybe I can just use a ladder. Or maybe I just spawn a ton of fucking wrenches everywhere. Arise. Wrenches. Let's see what this does for it. I just spawn like 18 wrenches up to the sky. If that causes any kind of lightning effect. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to try ladder strat again. Against my better judgment. Because something keeps screaming at me that this ladder might be the answer I've been looking for this whole time. Dude, I can't even fucking hit the button to activate the damn piece of crap. I just threw it across the fucking map away from me like a moron. Go, 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 go. Other, get to the other side, get up, you fucking old man, get up. Please. My ladder. It broke. This isn't the way we, this is, there's no way. I don't know the answer to this. I, I don't know the, I don't know the tricks to the lightning thing. I just don't. Give me, where's the dog? I need.
need something from another place for that guy. Which means I'm going to do my original plan of seeing if I can get this guy over there without... Because I might need two people doing it. Which is safer. You take most of your damage crossing over. So if I can get this guy over there... Then we have a chance. Okay, let's get the robot part out of the way. This part's easy. We're gonna do this right this time. No more bullshit! And the rest... is left up to God. I'm like racking my brain trying to think of what pulls the, like, lightning. Wait a minute. I have an idea, but it requires doing this guy. Which I guess I've got time to do, because this guy's another freebie. Alright, let's feed the chickens and do all of our chicken chores, and then go from there with this guy. Enjoy. Enjoy, chicken. Everyone feast. Enjoy. Enjoy. I have a plan. This might work. It might. I'm hoping I can still kill the chicken easily. Give me this. Mima! Mima! I talked to you! Mima! Y'all think the, uh... Let's see, I'll know if this guy's thing is dealt with because I think one of these pillars over here would be lit up. Like it's been enough time. Yep, he's dead. Can I leave? I can. Good. Yes. Good. No one leaves! No one leaves. Okay. Out of my way. Okay. Next, I've got to free the chicken. I freed you, my child. Come, scurry with me. Come on. Come on. Run him over. That did damage to him, right? How injured is he now? There he is. Alright, part two. Part two of my big plan. Mm. I hit him! He survived! He's still stunned, but he's still mad at me. He's still hitting me. He killed me. Did I use the shovel last time? I might have used the shovel last time. Okay, well, in that case, we do chicken first. I think I used shovel last time. I think shovel does more damage. Okay, in that case, chicken is first. But I might do it in a violent way that's a little bit faster than doing all these chores for Mima. I might just kill her. I don't think I care. Enough. I think I'll just wash the cleaver and then kill Mima. I think that's easier. I think I'll kill- I- I'm gonna kill Mima. On this one. Yeah, I'm gonna ki I'm gonna kill Mima. Oh, I gotta order my calzone! 
It's almost time for me to order my calzone. All right, Mima, time to die. It's over. Give me this. Be free. Wait for it. Wait for it. Easy now. We gotta do everything by the book now! Okay. He's not stunned yet, I don't think. I think that just hurt him a little. That hurt him and it hurt all of his brethren. All right, here we go. Part two of my big plan. Did you go inside the fucking barn? I think he might have gone in the barn. I can't feel my fucking feet. I'm so goddamn cold. Chicken? The hell is this? A saddle? Why would I need this? What can I use this on? Whoa! I fucked up. Wait, I might still be able to get out of here. Nice. <laughs> it all worked out in the end. Get bonked. Did that hit him? Please tell me that hit him. If that didn't hit him, I might need someone else's help. I hit him. He's hurt. He's hurt, I got him! Oh yeah, I used the shovel for this guy. Get fucking blasted. Okay, that means this guy can help with stuff now. He can go anywhere he wants to help. Well, no, he can go to where he's connected to. Yo, hold up! Wait. I can fix the car without ever having to do anything with the dog. My get my brain is pulsing. My brain hurts. It hurts. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Step aside, friend. Allow me. Your friendly f guy. To assist you. Though I do remember, I mustn't do anything else until I've done this guy's part. Because, or else I can't summon the robot. So, this part's next. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. It's all coming together, chat. It's all coming together. And now we can do the car while this is happening. Yes. That robot will kill itself in time. No. We will help this nice man with his dog fix up his car. Maybe play a little bit of hockey while we're at it. Get that thing off the roof. And then I'll die to the fucking lightning. <laughs> and that'll be how I have to reset again. Easy. Okay, so the robot should be dead soon. I'll give it like another like two minutes. Okay. Tire done. Go grab the other one. I'll be right back. You know,
What if I just take this bone where the dog could never get it? Well, then what happens? What if I just huck this in like another set? Well, what if a chicken eats it? We'll huck it in here. Okay. Well, good sir. Allow me to help you finish up your tire problem. There you are. My bad. Yeah, put this leg right here. Okay. All right, sir. Why don't you, uh, why don't you two just skedaddle now? Damn, man. I can't believe they fucking left the dog. And now I gotta grab it. The robot's still alive! What are the odds? <laughs> okay. You have no idea how powerful I am. Okay, it seems that the robot has caused a bit of a situation on the set. Dog, do something! Huh. It seems like, uh, like this one hasn't really gone our way. I don't think I can leave my set. Oh, I can. Time to take matters into my own hands, as usual. The old scientist getting involved again. How the heck you do that, man? What the fuck? I guess everyone turns into a zombie when they die. What have I done? Science has truly gone too far. Beware, my hose moon. You scared of water, asshole? Back off, man! Back off! Oh. Hang on, I'll just get a better weapon for this. This right here will do. If there's some kind of ghost inside of that guy, I'll take care of it right now. Hello? No! Not the other roof! <laughs> the robot died too. I think. It's nighttime in here. Does that mean the dog somehow still became a monster again? This against all odds? Strange. Well, I don't see myself beating this level anymore. Uh, but I've seen it. I, I think we've seen what it is. Uh, which means I'm ready to switch over to uh, Fears to Fathom. I reckon God, yeah, we just... This was a cool level. We'll go play the other thing now. I'm gonna have to label it as spooky game. Mods, you can turn off emote only mode now. I'm gonna label it as spooky because for some reason the second game in this thing doesn't actually have a, uh, 
I gave it a nice effort, okay? But I'm not gonna, uh, when this game comes out properly, I'm going to actually like do like a multiple session back-to-back -back thing and try to beat them properly. But like right now, like a lot of it is still like, might be subject to change, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not gonna like fucking break my back trying to get every single one of them finished when I'm planning on coming back anyways to do them all properly. It's more of like a checking out thing. We're doing, I've labeled the game to spooky. Okay, just so everyone's aware. The game title is spooky now. We'll check out Fears to Fathom. It doesn't, this one doesn't have a label on uh, Twitch, which is why I'm putting it down as uh, Fears to Fathom. You did pretty good. I thought I did pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm what was, if someone does know, you're, it's okay to tell me now. What was the solution for the lightning thing? Was there like actually something that I should have like grabbed that I didn't realize would have worked? There was a Faraday cage on the shelf. Oh, I didn't even think about like going back with the ladder to grab something off the shelves. Yeah. Well, for next time. Here's the fathom Norwood hitchhike. You guys like hitchhiking? Y'all want to like die? Beep, 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 content alert. It's gonna have jump scares. The last one had like a loud sound and that was the scary part, but I like the concept of these. I'm, I'm willing to play them specifically for that. So. So beep, 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 content alert. If that kind of stuff wigs you out, maybe get the heck out. Points to exit right now. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if just a little bit. I was one of those people who loves gaming conventions. <gasps> That's like me. That's like us, Chad. That's like just like us, Chad. That could be any of us. They were a gamer. Oh God. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Dude, this fucking happened to me and I just forgot. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Just take the traffic. <laughs> if it's 12 hours, take the fucking traffic. What? Just take the traffic. Hang on. Th this reminded me, I, for no apparent reason at all, it reminded me I need to order that fucking calzone. I'm ordering the calzone, I gotta get that calzone. The only things in my area, good pizza, good za. Where the hell is it? Where's the restaurant? No. Oh, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. I found it cool. I thought it was like gone. I thought they closed. I haven't had a calzone from them in a month. Thank God. <laughs> calzone machine broke. We don't do calzones anymore. Did the game just fucking turn off because I thought I, would, I didn't care anymore? Uh, it skipped the dialogue because I wasn't reading it? I'm driving. Help! Help, I just freaking crashed my car! Help! Help! I fucking crashed! I did it like instantly. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, 
that's my skateboard. <laughs> Can't see anything. Fedora, this is just a normal hat. I can't fucking see anything. Yeah, I'm kind of a psycho. I do just ram into trees when I drive and then just like fucking jump out of my car without turning on the hazards and then start rummaging through my trunk. Let's get back out there. All right, car's back on. Let's get back on the open road, chat. Back on the open road. I accidentally just climbed back out again. There was an accident. All right, car's back on. Let's get back on the open road again this time. Again. 40 miles an hour. Huh. I'm getting a text. <laughs> Hang on, let me check this. Stuck in biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the conve it's the people from the convention. See, I'm responsible because I stopped driving the car when I pulled up my phone. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, hang on. I start at the bottom. Discord. We got ticks. So I'll see if I can get the car. I'll let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk. LOL. ALR. LOL. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yup. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? Wow, dude. Fucking... This guy fucking fly out completely... I think I just got hit by a car while I was reading stationary in the middle of a street on my phone. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? I died. That's gonna be a full reset of the whole game, just like the last episode. That's gonna be a full redo. Redo the whole thing, reload. It's not little auto saves, are you stupid? <laughs> are there auto saves in real life? There's auto saves in real life. You parked in the road. My high beams were on. My high beams were on. So anyways, who else texted me? Dad. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden, that internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything, Dad? And then they died. I only got two bars out here, dude. What the fuck? Well, let's just not get hit by a car this time. All right, we're already well over the speed limit. And hang on, I'm getting a text from my friend Aiden. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm out here driving off the, I'm, I'm off the grid. Can I turn on the high beams? I think I, 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 I think I'll be fine. I'll just stay on my side of the road and not do anything stupid this time. Weird van. Hang on, I'm getting a text from my dad. Where did you reach? Hang on, we're gonna reply to my dad. Still about six hours away from the city, got stuck in a jam. Yeah, I'll do this all while driving, no problem. Yeah, I'm kind of responsible like that. I wish I wasn't the best at driving. Yeah, I know, tell me about it. Hang on, I'm getting a text. When you're halfway through, I realized how low I was on gas. Oh, fuck, I'm low on gas. Well, uh... We'll find a place to stop soon. Don't worry, chat. There's gonna be a place to stop for gas soon. Somewhere out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. Where they put out fucking telephone poles but no lights. <laughs> here in dystopian... In the, in the dystopian realm where we have electricity lines but no light poles uh, at all. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when we get back. I hope you're feeling our... I cannot read these texts and drive. Man, it's like you're not supposed to do this at the same time. This is hard. We're here. Gas station. We get this car loaded up. Mm. 
Where, where, where? The Norwood gas station, automotive fuel. I wasn't the best at driving. What's up? How's your night going? I'm the one walking up to people and doing this, by the way. This isn't like this guy walked up to me. I walked up to him and started a conversation with him at like fucking 2 a.m. In a gas station. And, and now I'm going to say, where are you headed? Am I a serial killer? He just looked at me and didn't say anything. As I would do. Hey, hang on, I'm getting text from my mom. You stay right there. I won't say anything about it. He's leaving. Where are you going? Where are you from? You travel? Traveling? Traveling like ice cream? Where are you headed? You like ice cream? Get milk? Like milk? Vegan milky? That's almond. You know, that stuff's actually pretty good for you, it turns out. How's your night going? This poor fucking guy. This is the sad. This is fucked up. My character's a serial killer. How's your night going? Where are you going? Why you want to like talk? Where are you going? Why are you why, why are you running away from me? Come on, say something. Are you like you like soda? <laughs> you like what, 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 what you like? Ah, oh, back to vegan milky. It is good. Uh, I'll leave. I'll I'll be the one that leaves. Hey, what's up? Ma'am, can I get $10 on pump two? You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees. Hey, can I use the toilet? It's not, I don't, it's not, I don't clean it. Okay. So you like soda? Is that like, what is that, beer? You gonna drink it? You, you can drive? Hey, you heard about the Norwood Valley monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster? You know anything about Norwood Valley Monster? I start shaking the man. Big mistake! And he yells at me. He runs away. Does that mean yeah or no? You like ice cream? <laughs> you like ice cream? You like vegan milky? <laughs> and one more thing. Yeah, what's up? If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on that night. Some say you get ice cream over there. You like ice cream? Someday. Some people say she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she- can you stop fucking walking from us? Uh, some say she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road, putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Yeah, sure, don't you worry about a thing, dude. I will fucking straight up run them down before I let them into my car. Second time I see that van. Hang on, I'm getting a text from my mommy. Holly? Mom? I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Can you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Yeah, sure, I get some dog food. You got dog food? You like, hey, you know what they got dog food in this place? Can I get one, uh, vegan milky? What are you doing over there? No, nothing. Ma'am, you're gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to call the cops. I'm just looking for motor oil. 
the fuck is it? You got dog food? I can't fucking find the dog food. <laughs> Dog food in this fucking place. Those <laughs> fuckers, you guys had the dog food in this fucking place. Found it. Found what I wanted. I just wanted a cola. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Meat snack. Nuts. Chocolate. I don't want any of these. Can I play on- can I play solitaire on your computer? Is that okay? Thanks. Can I like, just walk around on the counter? Is that okay? Is this your milk? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, whatever. Can I have these? Let's just take this. You need to pay for that, ma'am. I didn't want it anyways. Get dog food? Goodbye. <laughs> you have a good day now. I'm the Norward killer. That's my secret. See, the secret was all along I was the monster. <sighs> all right, let's uh, get back in the goddamn car and get the hell out of here. Which one of these pumps did I order uh, gas on? Two? I left the car like running. Oops. I gotta pull in on pump two. There it is. Yeah, this is fine. I fit here. <laughs> Where the hell's the, where's my gas hole? I don't know where the, my car, my car is parked a little too far at first. Okay. Let me see if I can get that. Kind of got this thing parked in a weird area. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get this uh, turned around. See if I can get it closer to the gas hole on this thing. I seem to have actually fucked myself completely. I can't seem to get the car unjammed out of this hole. I really, I really did it now. Hang on. All right, here we go. Any second now, really. Try to see if he'll notice me. I'm like just I'm just so desperate for attention. I wasn't too good at driving. Alright. Let's get this car loaded up with gasoline. I filled the tank and I was off on the road again. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. I had some bad news though. I was stuck in this fucking. I'm stuck on a little rock on the ground. I couldn't move. I seemed the game had bugged, and I was unable to free myself from a, a little pillar. It seems I was actually stuck inside of a pillar. The game uh, dropped me off inside of a pillar, and I couldn't get back inside the car because I had to get uh, food for uh, my my dog. 
Help! Help! Help, please! Someone, please! Help! Help! I have to actually reload the game. At least I get three bars here. Dad. Dear Dad. Help. I'm stuck in a pillar. I can't send it. I don't think anyone's coming. I'm looking around. I don't think Milo, my dog, is coming to save me either. I have to restart the game. Ha, uh, classic, dude, classic. Classic. I have to restart the game. Bear with me, chat. We have to also drive all the way back to the gas station. You know this game doesn't have saves. You know this game doesn't end, that's because that's what makes it scary. Get good, Jesus be ballin'. You know, I didn't miss Jesus be ballin' during the uh, first game. I didn't... I didn't miss it at all. I, bar I, I barely remembered it. Okay, let's do this again by the books. Okay, no one fucking piss me off, okay? Didn't ask. <laughs> Didn't ask, man. We gotta go all the way back to the gas station now. You know, for the sake of our sanity, why don't we say this? This is a permadeath game now. If we die in game over, the stream is over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're not- now you're all, like, fucking spooked out. 100 subs? I don't have that kind of money. I can't do that, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that's simply not possible. Let's get, let's get to the gas station and go from there. Get good stuffed. Shut up, Jesus. Where the hell's the gas station? I think the game wants me to read these texts, but I'm driving. Weird. I thought I saw a man. When I hit him with my car, I didn't see any blood on my hood. Which is weird. It looked to me like I destroyed him. I'll admit, I was a terrible driver. Is this guy in the song cussing? Because I just won't allow it. I just won't allow it on my stream. I'll, I will silence it so fast if I hear cussing. Because everyone knows I don't. I don't I'm not about that. Hey man, can I get the, uh, can I get a pump turned on? Thank you. Have a good day. I love you. Huh? The Norwood Valley Road. Blah, 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 Mom text me. I won't, I won't know that the dog wants, needs food because I'm just not going to read the text. Because I don't have the, I don't have the money. That's my only $10. I will simply run down a hitchhiker. I will simply run down a hitchhiker with my car and feed the dog whatever I get off of their body. Okay, I gotta make sure I do this right. 
I don't want to be in the pipe again. Please don't pipe me. Okay, we're good. I filled the tank, and I was off the road again. Hang on, can I just like acknowledge it? I might. My car's tank was full. I'm gonna buy some food for the dog. I'll I'll get the dog some goddamn food. You got dog food? I need dog. You got dog food? Let's see. We got. Is this dog food? Hey, is this dog food? Sir? There will be consequences. What if I hit this guy? If I what if I hit him with it? He doesn't seem to care. Y'all got dog food in this fucking place? Or, uh, what's, um... What's the deal with that? Is dog food? Pat Pat. Yep, it's this one. For good boys and girls. I'll be taking this, sir. Bring it up. Please. I'll grab another. I'll be taking this, sir. I I'll grab another. This, please. I'm leaving with this in my hands. Goodbye. You need to pay for that, ma'am. I'd love to, but you won't let me! I'd like to buy Pet Pet! Hmm, 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 gosh, I don't know what you want me to do here, guy. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to, I'm... Hang on, he'll say, do, is there anything else you need? This in my hand. That'll be fine, I have to, t okay. Alright, <laughs> I've solved it. We got the Pat Pat food. Let's get out of here. There will be consequences. There's going to be consequences for your fucking actions. Mm. My dog is going to be well fed tonight. Whenever I get home. In ten hours. Was that spooky Optimus Prime truck always there before? I don't know. Alright, so if I see anyone on the side of the road trying to hitchhike, I hit them. I think. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Okay. Monsters truly do exist. I didn't check my back seat. Every single one of them looks like you and me. What the hell is this person talking about? Oh, that's a fucking cone. I thought that was a person. I was trying to hit him. I'm a psycho. Mom, my, my mom texted me. Hang on. I gotta check my freaking phone. Give me a second. My car has the worst turning ever. Mom, it's not expired or anything, right? Of course not, mother. I, I didn't check, but of course not. I wouldn't feed my dog expired dog food. Only the best for Pat Pat. Okay, only the best. I keep not, I'm just not even looking at the road. No, don't stream and drive. I think I just broke my fucking front headlights. I'll just honk instead. Oh, there they go. I was honk anyways. I'm gonna pass this guy. This guy up here, I'm gonna ride him off the road. Speed it up! He's trying, he's trying to like, I'm going around him. Speed the car up! There we go. There we go, that's, that woke him up. <laughs> that woke him up. Man, I wish I, I wish my lights worked. Wish I could see anything. Let's just keep on driving. What's the speed here? 30? 
I'm kind of close to that. Look, no one's gonna try to serial kill me. I'm too loud. No one's gonna. You're not gonna get away with it. Everyone will know. Everyone will know if you get me. Okay, because you're gonna hear the, the honking stop. Now, where the hell am I? 20 miles an hour. I'm gonna keep speeding it up. Wait, what happened to the road? Why is the road all wrong? The Norwood Bridge. Most people right now would be quiet and respectful for all those who've perished at the bridge. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep honking for now. Hello? Hello? Fucking headlights never work. I swear I see someone that getting ran down. Not taking any chances with ghosts in in the spooky realm. I just won't. I'll give him a beep beep and then bonk. Take him down. Dude, we should loot that car for, like, uh, gear parts. No, I would never. I would never hurt that thing. I'm not a monster. I, w I, w I would never, like, run over or something like that. I just wouldn't. Stop right here. Pit stop! Pit stop! Pit stop! There's a very weird thing about that night. Pit stop! Stopping at everything we see! Gotta get that gotta get treasure. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way. Wait, hang on, really? Wait, hold up, really? My character just spoiled it for me. I wasn't even gonna- I was gonna stop. I didn't need two logs blocking the way to stop me. Ah, oh, fuck! I got- I literally gotta do the pit stop. I read everyone be back in two minutes to help me move this log. Go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Go pee now. We pull into this spooky fucking place. I wasn't the best at driving. It's the problem. So it might take me a while to do this 18 point turn because this car only has about the wheel, look, we don't have like a, we don't have power steering. The wheel really does take almost all of my muscle power to turn it all. It really, ah, it really does take quite a bit of time to get this thing all the way around 180. Ah, there it is. All right, we got there, we got there. Ah, there it is. There it is. And, bada bingus. This bad boy's parked. Hello? Anyone, uh... Anyone around? Yeah. Some kind of fat fucking dog right there. That's a fucking big dog. Rude? It looks closer to the to a cow than a goddamn dog. It's not rude, it's truthful. How the hell do I get out of this place? I can't open this gate. It's chained closed. Do I have to like go and ex ex examine the tire? I mean the uh, logs? I might have to. At night. Or maybe the game wants me to very basically just ram into it like a fucking maniac. But that's not gonna be much of a true story, is it, Aim? Or now it's just gonna be a like insane person did a stupid thing. Fuck. 
Okay. I just don't want to hurt that dog. They didn't. Des they don't deserve anything that happens next. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna slam this into the wall and see what happens. Here we go. No, God, no. It's just too much. I... I think it's... Wait, no, that just sped me up so much. That was the most powerful thing I could have done was... Uh, fucking immediately... Damn, dude, that was trippy, actually. What the hell? I'm gonna go back to the logs quickly, because I think my character's confused until I, like, acknowledge that the logs are a problem. Let's check these out. Oh, I can just move them. We'll just... Move these things out of the... Out of the way. No, don't put it back! Hey! Alright, this log's taken care of. How the heck is that? How the fuck is this? What the fuck just ha how's this happening? How's it like how the logs like going back? Don't move. Stop that. Hey. Okay, I guess I've made it wide enough. I had to move the logs to go ahead. I did move the logs. What is going on with this stupid fucking log? I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching anything. This is like... Alright, it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't move. I, I, I was just moving my characters like... Hang on, check the back of my car for goblins. Check the trunk, too. Something had to move these uh, these logs into the way. Why did my car my car just doesn't turn on sometimes until I like get back in it? Classic. All right, my car's fucking broken. No, that's the new thing. Uh, let's take a look. There's another, uh, get us an eyeballing. Just like that, I was stranded out in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. That's a lie. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, we're out of phone service. We're out of options. Now, what could I do instead? I'd be lying if I didn't feel the slightest bit of unease. Oh, yeah? I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... I thought I was going to freaking die. Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think of how long it would take for someone to pass. I'll stand in the middle of the road. I am the hitchhiker murderer killer. 10.23 p.m. Hey, lady, you had service like a mile back up the road. How about you just walk a mile and then call the police? That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Hey, where's the car? I was the ghost all alone. Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. I've been out here hitchhiking for 40 years. The only thing I had to eat during all that time was old expired dog food from my trunk. And the only thing I had to pass the time was my cool skateboard. Also in the trunk! Some say if you travel past the Norwood Bridge, you can still see some fucking weirdo eating dog food while trying to do an ollie. Jackass!
I stuck it. I stuck it that time. Did you see that? Push. Tip reaches hand into Pat Pat bag, pulls out big handful, starts eating it, walks up to car like a fucking monster. Taps triangle, activates a uh, fucking hijack mode from GTA, pulls them out of the car, punches them once in the nose, steals car. You're the girl from the gas station. Hi. What are you trying to do out here? Well, first my car broke. After someone blocked it with a bunch of logs. Then I saw his fun fat dog that looked like a pig but a dog and I was pretty cool. So I sort of thought maybe I'd go try to find them. But then there was a fence that was chained so I couldn't get to them and they made a funny sound. Which really bummed me out that I couldn't find them after that. And then I got kind of bored. Um, so I, 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 I started eating some of this dog food. It's actually not bad. You ever try Pat Pat? It's actually not bad. I started eating some of the Pat Pat and then I started doing, I started practicing all these on my skateboard that I bought today. And I almost did it once. So how you been, man? Uh, listen, I can't call for help. There's no phone service, and I'm a fr I I'm like too lazy to walk a mile up the street with my skateboard or like even skate up the street. So I was thinking that maybe you could just like take me all the way to my house. Uh, I live ten miles away. Can you help me? Where are you headed to? Just like uh, up the road to a vague uh, uh, position anywhere. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. All right, I got everything I need. Let's get the heck out of here. Come on. Okay, I actually do have to get everything. I thought the I thought the pat pat would be would be enough. You guys think he's gonna kill me? Do you think it's like a fucking? I think it's like a trick where he's gonna get murdered by like uh by the by the gas station guy who said there would be consequences and it all comes back to that moment when I spiked a fucking milk carton into the gas station guy you think it, you think it all comes back to that nah he seems like a nice guy I don't know dude I don't trust anyone that talks to me or looks at me ever And I think that's reasonable in the year 2020 or 2022 year of our Lord. What I, what this guy's probably gonna fucking do. All right. Is the second I put this luggage into the car, he's not going to do anything because he's going to wait until I grab my collector's hat from the back. And the second I put it in and fucking close the trunk, he's going to tear away with all my stuff. Cause it's the ultimate fucking crime and there's nothing I, he can, like, I can do to stop him. Because it's 2022, no mercy. And things have changed. Alright, that's all of my possessions and everything I have. I could have sworn I got everything. Did I missed something? Or do I have to actually help, ask him to help me get all my stuff? Cause that is unbelievable. You know, I got everything. I'm now gonna ask him to help me get my stuff. Anyways. Because I can't close this. Maybe something doesn't think it's actually in there. Can you help me get my stuff? I have... Where's the skateboard? Oh god, you're right. My vintage skateboard. He's waiting to tear away until after I grab the skateboard. He's waiting until I grab the skateboard. I have to get this. All right, I've got my vintage skateboard that cost me 450. There you go. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Dude, this guy has no idea that I'm a serial killer murderer. He has no idea that he's made a big mistake and you're never supposed to pick up hitchhikers. I'm the skateboard slasher. 
and I have been all along. Takes big crunch out of pet food. I eat dog food and I kill people when they come near me. So you won't tell me where, who you are and where you're going? I live really close from here. That's a, I was driving home and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason, what? My name's Jason. Oh, okay. Wow, dude. This girl's trying to get, like, fucking kicked out of the car. <laughs> okay. I mean, I didn't fucking ask. I didn't ask your life story, Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. <laughs> didn't ask. Jesus be ballin'. You're really lucky I had the I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say that you're one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I don't know. It never broke down on me like that before ever. It's my dad's, it's pretty old. Is there like a chupacabra out here, like a Bigfoot? Is that what this is all about? Is it safe to have an open bag of dog food in the back? <laughs> is something gonna jump into the car? Did I see it? Was that that thing I saw? Was that that? Was that fat dog thing? El Diablo? So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? That guy was creepy. Interesting. Idiot tells us, tells that to every person traveling down here. Right. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things. I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. What? I feel like this guy ain't the, like, killer or the psycho. I feel like he's the guy who gets psycho killered. You know what I mean? Like, he's the old man... Who, like, says, like, I gotta take a piss and stay in the car. And then, like, the person checks around the corner after the guy goes to take a piss. And he's got, like, five knives in him. All from different people. Like, five different people all stabbed him in the same bathroom. Because the place is, like, all, only psychos live here. And I miss Jason. When he fucking dies. Or when he tries to kill me. I have to kill him. By the way, this is now officially permadeath. If I die now, I'm never doing it again. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Whatever, I didn't ask. That's nice, Jason. <laughs> didn't ask, okay. <laughs> okay, didn't ask. 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Dude, it's not Jason, because it's Van Guy. Remember the guy in, like, the fucking white van that drove by? It's him, obviously. So, like, Jason was just a nice guy. Goodbye, Jason. Didn't ask, Jason. Askers, not me. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not approved for occupancy. They misspelled road. <laughs> Which isn't good. That's a bad start. Hey, oh, I need a fucking hotel room. Okay, I'll need a room to check up for the night. How much is it for a room? 40 for single. Pay cash only. Okay. Room number nine, right over there. I can fix the car. Ninety dollar. Tommy will take care of it the next thing in the morning. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. 
Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. You got like a murder knife back there? You gonna kill me? It's a spooky fucking painting. You have a good day. You have a good day now, sir. I didn't know why people always acted so weird to me. I want a meat snack new. The real lesson is uh, gonna be that you have to buy things from a vending machine so you have enough power, enough energy in your body to sprint away from the monster. Because all these things make me faster. Which room am I on, number nine? Fuck is this bullshit? Ew. These walls are disgusting. Let's see room one. I couldn't just go into any room. I could try. Someone's watching TV in this room. I heard it. I'm a fucking freak. I'm a fucking freak. I am an unbelie- I am- I ex absolutely deserve to get fucking murdered. I just immediately ran out this door and started trying to peek in to see what I could see from the crack. He's in my room, right? It's my room. I live in the spooky one, right? Let's see, room nine, room six, room seven, room eight. Hang on, I'm gonna text from my mommy. Uh, let's see here. Mom, Holly? What's up, bitch? I can't reply. My character doesn't want to reply to things. What's up? Hey. I absolutely just can't reply. My character just doesn't feel like it. Here we are, beautiful, uh, hotel room. There's a smell, a musky type of smell you get from old houses. Up in the sky. Oh, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Oh, God, I, I, we gotta get out of here. I can't, you can't do that. You can't do that on Twitch. Not anymore. Not anymore. After how things have been? And how oppressed we've been as a people, I don't forget about it. There's a murderer in here. <laughs> <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine, everything's fine. I am gonna have to tell the teller, like the guy at the front about this. <laughs> gotta tell so I'm gonna go tell this guy about this guy. I gotta hang on. Hey, 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 hey. There's a guy in there. The guy in the bathroom. I think it was, I think it was a Twitch admin. It was like a staffer from Twitch peering over my corner. Trying to see how, what I was doing. <laughs> it was Bezos himself. Leave the door open. Where's my mattress? It's a it's a it's Was it always gone? This guy steal my fucking mattress? Hey, jackass. What are you doing here? You scared the, I should be asking you that, I say through the wall. I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn. Fa find a stopover in Norwood. What are you doing in there, you know? Cleaning stuff. 
guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Oh, really? I wasn't stepping outside at all. I was. Oh, this was. This is where a mic would be active so you could hide properly in the video game, apparently, but I don't have a mic plugged in, so I get to be ultra stealthy. All right, I'm out. But really, I was the Norwood skateboard slasher. And the second that guy comes out of that bathroom, I'm gonna slice him up with some of my crazy skateboard moves. I'm gonna knock him down. I'm gonna put my skateboard wheels right on his face. I'm gonna do a kickflip and cut his face off. That is just all just Superman. It's really just all Superman. It, it just, dude, I fucking love reacting, dude. We gotta get this on film, dude. We gotta, bro. <laughs> Fucking love Superman. Where is where's my stuff? Well, you gotta understand about the React meta, dude. My skateboard better be here. Yep. Gonna have to ask Brett to fucking cut up the vibe, dude. You're right, chat. I gotta get Brett to fucking edit all this bullshit out of the stream. What's up, man? Yeah, you can just put that anywhere. Thanks. Yeah, guess. Get that. Just get it anywhere. Had a long day. Crunches into more pet, pet, pet food. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What's up, man? Yeah, you can just put this wherever the fuck you want. Don't eat any of that, alright? It's not a fucking tip. Yeah, I'm gonna feel really bad when I get home and there's no dog food left in the bag because I've been eating all of it to survive because nature is so cruel. It's so hard to survive out here, chat. That's a fucking problem. It's really hard to survive out here. You gotta do whatever it takes. You just gotta do whatever it takes. Yeah, you just do it. Thank you. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working anymore. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> Man, I gotta be honest with you about something. All right? Are you Superman? You got like the hair thing. You got like the hair thing. You got like the smile. You got like the build. You got the giant broad arms. Are you Superman? Clark? Is that you? No way. No way, dude. Dude, I thought it was weird that you were playing that fucking thing. No way, man. I can't let that run again. I'm gonna get fucking destroyed. So I spent the rest of the night inside the closet waiting for someone to come in to murder me. Hi, uh, chat. Chat, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We know something. With how much shit happens in the world on a day-to-day, -day, right? Statistically, and at least one point in, in the history of the human race, a serial killer has gone to kill someone. They've gone to kill someone. And then when they try to kill the person, that person counter kills them because they in fact were also a serial killer. It's happened once. It might not have happened in the last 100, 200, 300 years, but at some point, someone's gone to kill someone and been counter-killed because the other person also planned to kill them. You know someone's been out-psychoed.
You know at least once. Wow, this is actually a really nice bathroom. Compared to the rest of this shithole? This is like spotless. What the fuck? That's like uncanny, that's freaky. Ugh. They'll open the door, they'll look for me, they won't find anyone because I'm on the fucking table. So like, what do I do with my life now? Do I like sleep? I don't know how to lock doors. I'm just gonna sleep without locking it. Yep. How's that? Call it foresight, but there's definitely something very off about this place. Let me grab my murder weapon. Hey, asshole! Hey, Jackass! Open the door! You want another serial killer? I slip my fucking skateboard into the fucking crack of the door and start trying to jostle it open. You want another, you another one? Open the door, man! Open the door! I scurry away. He thinks he's gonna- uh, he thinks he's gonna kill me. We'll see how- let's see who kills who once I've pumped up on another 18 meat snacks. Then we'll see who kills who. Let me just eat some more food. Oh yeah, let's get another couple. My food's here. What are the odds? I can hear it. You think they're gonna fucking knock on my door 18 times? Despite the fact that they deliver through DoorDash? Think they, you think they've gotten the memo that there's a fucking pandemic? Think they know? Man, I'd feel really bad for them if someone answers the door on them. Sure hope no one does. Because I'd have to, like, stop them. I don't think anyone would. I'm, like, waiting to see if I hear them again, because if they try to get anyone to open that door, everyone upstairs that would answer that door has COVID and wouldn't do it. So they just be slamming on that door until I go get it. Surely not. I think they stopped. Okay. How fast am I now? I'm fast. <laughs> this isn't my room. I'm going back to sleep because I fear nothing. I left my fucking skateboard at that other fucking guy's room. I left it at the vending machine. Hang on, I got I can't sleep without my weapon. Hang on. This is how you beat the system. And done. Good luck, psychos. Only coffee could keep me up. You want coffee now, lady? We don't even have coffee in You tell me now I gotta get out? To go find coffee. I have to go find coffee. Well, that didn't fucking even work. That didn't do anything. Let me just buy a coffee then. Didn't want it, wasn't feeling it. Yo, you got coffee? 
What does my character want from life? They don't even sell coffee. There's energy soda. Do you want energy soda? Want more energy soda, lady? My character's getting very fast. Let me try this machine right outside this guy's room. This is probably the one. Me stares at door by serial killer's room. But here I am, awake and conscious, ready to have the game black out. What just happened to me? Oh, wow, wow, wee wow, this fucking coffee's crazy. <laughs> Now this is the good shit. Wah 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 wah. Was it really with you? Hang on, I'm getting a text from my fucking parents. I think I'm just gonna go inside and watch some fucking Superman or something. I don't know. Oh! Oh, my controls are reverse, chat. I can't get in the room. Ah. Ah. I'm just gonna take a seat in the fucking spooky closet that I... Yep. Now I'm gonna check my phone. Am I gonna get fucking murdered with, like, caffeine brain? What's going on with me lately, dude? This is why you this is why you don't drink the free coffee. Hmm. Well nothing's happening and there's no one murdering me. I might just go to sleep. Huh? Yeah, I went back to sleep. I slept off those beans. Just sleep off the beans. I never woke up. How am I telling you this story? 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Okay. That's not what coffee do. Uh... Hello? I think the guy's in the fucking closet. I didn't feel safe going out. I gotta grab my fucking skateboard. I think he's in the fucking... I saw him go in the goddamn closet. <laughs> he has no idea I've sealed him in. He has no fucking idea. Good luck. Door's locked. Oh! Hello? Hello? What's up? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I'm watching Superman. Also, there's a psycho in my closet. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? I drank some crazy coffee. Are you messing with me? We don't serve coffee here. Not after the coffee killer turned all the coffee into crazy coffee. We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. It's right over there. It's coffee machines right over there. Don't turn your back to the Superman thing, because I think a serial killer psycho is in there. No, I said you gotta believe me, there's a coffee machine right over here. I promise this isn't the pet food making me crazy. It was right here. Who the 
the fuck? Who the fuck fucking, which kind of serial killer brings a fucking full coffee machine? <laughs> to do their serial killing. It was right here. Go back to your room. I swear it was right here. I said go back now. Yeah, all right, man. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. I don't think I'm going back to my room. Takes another crunch out of dog food. Crunch, crunch. I don't think I'm going back there, my guy. Complimentary meds. Complimentary medication. Oh my god. See, I'm, I'm beginning to think I should have read this. <laughs> Gosh, I think this place sucks. I think this place just fucking sucks. You know what I really needed? When, it, when push came to shove, after I'd been sedated, filled up with dog food, crashed my car 18 times on the highway, I just needed one Coke. I was only one away. I was just one away. Just needed another Coke. Zip. I think I'll spend my evening inside this scary house right here. Nope. Can't do that. I'm not going... I'd rather run down the street and never return. Come on, Pat Pat. We're done. See, the one thing they never expected was me to simply abandon all of my worldly possessions and survive off of dog food with the help of my boy, Pat Pat. Is this road end in a giant fucking bush? And so I kept walking past the giant bush with Pat Pat in tow to the beyond realm past the tree line to where the power lines curve all on their own crunches Pat Pat bag mm 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 Milo's never gonna believe this one I should check my phone. Dear mother and father. I drank some crazy fucking coffee and I mixed it with dog food and it fucked me up. It's been a pleasure. And this is why you don't go to gaming conventions. Okay? Going forward, this is why you don't go to... I dropped it. Don't go to gaming conventions. Alright, nothing good comes out of it. This was a permadeath run, right? Chat, there's no checkpoints in this game. If I tried to reload it, I would simply cease to exist. But I feel like this was the best ending for our character. That's the weird thing about these uh, Fears to Fathom games is that they're trying to follow the story that the, like, the person that made the game was told. And therefore you have to make stupid fucking choices just like the person telling the story did. So you gotta make fucking nitwit choices, like go back into the room, even though I just saw a fucking serial killer go inside of a closet in a room. You know, I'm not gonna fucking do that, I'd rather go with Pat Pat off the uh, side of the map. I think there's autosave now. No, there isn't. I can tell you with a hundred percent bulletproof guarantee, there's no autosave. <laughs> because it's a lot of reviews. Complaining about no autosave. But yeah, that's four and hour, uh, something hours of streaming. That's enough for me forever. I'm taking, uh, get out of here. I'm taking off. I might be streaming tomorrow with Dave. I might have to message him and figure out if we want to like plan another day because I'm feeling a little bit crusty. I might try to take it easy tomorrow and rest. So uh, we'll have to see on that. 
But if not, then we're going to be doing uh, Grounded Part 2. And if it's not that day, then we'll do it on uh, Thursday instead. I've got a, uh, I got the one-off, well, not one-off. Uh, I got, I do have the one-off on Thursday for D&D. And I'm hoping that I'll be feeling better by then. I mean, I'm not, even feel, I'm not feeling terrible right now, but I'm hoping I won't feel worse. Uh, and then I got fucking uh, the first session zero of the D&D thing I'm doing with Joe tomorrow off stream. So that should be cool too. Anyways, chat, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be done now. I'm gonna be done. You're never hearing from me again until the next stream, which is either tomorrow or the next day. I will, I will label it as tomorrow until I know it isn't, or I know that it is. At which point. It will remain labeled as to, I've made this a lot more confusing than it need to be. Thanks for all the gifted subs and donations and bits. I appreciate it as always. I will see you later. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm going to go eat my calzone. I'm going to go destroy my calzone now, thanks. Goodbye.